Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Girls, it's time to get up. Come on, you're going to be late for school. No, no, I'm not going to school today. Tell them, tell them I, I quit. Molly, <laughs> don't be ridiculous. Come on, Daisy, you're usually out of bed. No, not today. She doesn't want to get up today. No, I'm not getting up ever again. I'm so tired. Oh, is it summer yet? What's wrong with you girls? You've been this way all week. Come on, get out of bed. No, can't, can't. Oh, okay, fine. I'm going to go get your mom, and she'll probably have a bucket of water, and she'll dump it right on your head. <laughs> good one, Dad, good one. Daisy, I dare you not to move. I dare you not to move. Dare accepted! Girls, time to wake up! Time to wake up! Come on, chop chop, out of bed! Mom, I'm so tired. So many months of school. Yeah, Mom. Is it summer yet? No, girls. You still have another month or so of school before summer vacation. Now get out of bed, please. Nope, can't do it. Oh my gosh, here I come with a bucket of water. I don't care. I'll just have a water bed. <laughs> really? Ugh, you girls are so frustrating. They won't get out of bed for me either. Wait, what? This is like, uh, how many days in a row now that they won't get out of bed for school? This is so unlike Daisy. Yeah, I mean, Molly's always been kind of a troublemaker when it comes to going to school, but not Daisy. Uh, I don't know what to do, Laura. These girls have got to get to school. Hmm, I have an idea. Come here, Dan, and I'll whisper it to you. Okay. Really? You want to try that? I definitely do. This is going to work. Come on, follow me. Molly, we should probably get out of bed now. Ooh, what now? I'm thinking all day I can sleep in here. Molly, it's like one o'clock. We have to get up. Besides, uh, I won the deal because um, I stayed in bed the longest. What? No, you didn't. <laughs> See, you got out of your bed. But you are already out of your bed. Whatever, Molly. We both know I'm the winner. No, you're not. Whatever. I'm going to go get some cereal. Ah, we didn't have to go to school. This was fabulous. Molly, wait for me. Oh, you took the elevator before I could get down there. Hey, wait a minute. Where, where's mom and dad? I don't know. Maybe they're in their office or something. I didn't see them in their office. OMG. We have the whole house to ourselves. Mmm. That's very good. Mm. Molly, you're actually eating an apple? Yeah, I am because I'm so hungry. Mary, there's waffles in here. You should eat that. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. Molly, I kind of want to go to school now. I mean, I don't want to be late and get detention again tomorrow. Well, you're already late, DZ. It's like one in the afternoon. Yeah, but... Click, 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 click. Um, I, I'm going to get detention and I, I, I don't want to. Well, you're already late. Yeah, but if I don't show up at all, then I'll definitely get detention. <sighs> Fine, I'll call mom and see where she is and see if she'll drive us to school. It's ringing. Well, Molly, what, what did she pick up? No, she didn't answer. Let me try her number again. Oh my gosh, Daisy. It, 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 it's making the noise that her phone is disconnected. But 
try that. Try that. Oh, yeah. Good idea. Is it Vicky? No. His phone is saying disconnected, too. What? Appearance? Did they, did they abandon us? <laughs> Don't be silly, Daisy. Don't be silly. But Molly, we, we've been so naughty and we haven't gotten out of bed for school. And, and, and now they're not here and the phone is disconnected. When have they ever just left us and not made us get up for school? Wow, you're right, Daisy. I'm going to go to their room and see if their suitcases are there. Good idea, Molly. Good idea. Daisy, you check the bathrooms. Why, Molly? Because Dad had enchiladas for dinner last night, and he might be in there. <laughs> Molly, I don't think so. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check in their closet or their dresser or whatever. See if their suitcases are there. What? Their, their suitcases are, are missing. Yeah, and Dad's not in the bathroom either. Okay, let me check the family safe. OMG! There's only $100 left in here! <gasps> Molly! They took the rest of the money and left! Her parents abandoned us! It's all because we were being naughty and wouldn't get out of bed for school! <laughs> Daisy, don't panic! This could be good. I mean, we could do this. We could, we could be adults, right? No! Molly, you're the worst adult on the planet! You never get out of bed to do your chores or your homework! And you don't even have a job! We can't even afford egg or waffles anymore! <laughs> okay, think, Molly, think, think, think! How can I get Mom and Dad to come back? I made a mistake! I made a mistake! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh. Okay, I'll just turn on the TV and watch that, that'll help. What? The TV won't turn on? Oh my god, our parents didn't pay the cable bill! Molly, this is terrible! <laughs> oh my gosh, freaking out, freaking out, freaking out, freaking out, freaking out! Parents abandoned us! We are all alone! Molly? Molly? Are you okay? No. I, I, I can't adult! I can't adult! Molly, seriously, step out of it! Can't adult! Molly, I can't do this alone! Come back to me! Molly, breathe! Breathe! Oh, Daisy, I see the light! Molly, no! <laughs> Girls, oh, <laughs> there you are! Mom, you're back! I, 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 I didn't know where you were! Um, uh, Molly, are you okay? Molly? Yeah, <laughs> uh, fine. Where were you guys today? We, we knew you were coming back. Yep, totally. Your mom and I just didn't want to deal with being adults anymore, so we went and got ice cream. Yeah, it was super fun. What? We thought you abandoned us and you had ice cream all day? Well, since you didn't want to get out of bed and you were being such brats, we decided we were going to take the day off. OMG, Daisy! Well, you have to admit, Molly, we kind of deserved that. Ugh, parents are, are crazy! Well, Molly, <laughs> are you going to start getting out of bed on time? Uh, Molly? Yeah, but can we get ice cream with you guys too? If you manage to get out of bed for school for one whole week on time, then I will buy you any ice cream cone you want. Okay, sounds like a deal, Mom. Just don't ever abandon us, okay? Never, Molly. Never. Oh, no, don't roll down the hill. Oh, my gosh. My soccer ball just almost ran down the hill, and if it rolled down that hill... Oh my gosh, I'd have to run so fast to catch it. Or I'd probably get hit by a car. Whoa, no, don't go over the edge. Oh man, not again. Hey, loser. Who, who's that? Do they have a Corvette or is that a Ferrari? I can't even tell the difference because I'm too poor to afford an amazing car like that. So, oh gosh, it's Sarah. Hey, loser. Hey, Sarah, where'd you get that car? My daddy bought it for me. Isn't it amazing? Uh, yeah, it really is. Could I go for a ride? No, loser. I just wanted to tell you that tomorrow is rainbow day. Everyone at school is supposed to wear rainbow. And what happens if you don't? 
you get expelled. What? You're kidding me! I don't even own anything that's rainbow! Well, you better get some because all the cool kids are going to be wearing this and all the losers who don't are going to get ex expelled. The principal said so. Now I'm out of here. You're really making me look bad. But, but what if I can't find something rainbow? Then you'll get expelled, duh! Oh my gosh, I gotta go tell Daisy. We're gonna definitely have to go to the mall and go shopping. Daisy, Daisy, we're, Daisy! I've been here, Molly, making a snack. Ooh, that looks delicious. Daisy, no time for a snack! What? No time for a snack? Who are you? And what have you done with my sister, Molly? <laughs> you always have time for a snack. Not today. Sarah just drove by in her Corvette Ferrari, I don't know, fancy car, and she said that if we aren't wearing rainbow tomorrow at school, we're going to all get expelled. What? That must be not true. She was wearing a rainbow shirt. Whoa. If she did it, that must mean it's true. What are we going to do? We don't own anything rainbow colored. Well, we have to do your favorite thing. Go shopping, of course. I better call Brookie on the way. Let her know so she doesn't get in trouble. I mean, why didn't the principal just make an announcement? I don't know, but it sounds pretty serious. We need to get these rainbow colors and right away. Hey, this is Brookie. What's up? Brookie, this is an emergency. Molly, are you okay? What's going on? Are you at the hospital? No, but I just heard that if we don't wear rainbow tomorrow, we're going to be expelled. What? Oh my gosh, Molly, why? I don't know. Sarah didn't say. She just said we better wear rainbow tomorrow. Um, I don't own any rainbow. Me either, so wanted me to set them all? Hopefully we can find something there. Sure, I'll meet you there, Molly. Thanks for letting me know. I'd hate to get expelled. My parents would never forgive me. Me either. I'll see you at the mall, Brookie. Bye. Molly, hop on. Do you want to get to the mall or not? Yeah, we have to get there before they close, or I don't know what we do. I don't know either, Molly. Let's just hope they have some rainbow-colored clothes. Well, I was just thinking that maybe this could be rainbow-colored because, like, look, it's got, like, the galaxy on it. Not good enough! You're gonna, you're gonna get detention and then get expelled and then never be able to return to school! Yeah, sounds like the principal is taking this really seriously. Yeah, it really does. Come on, let's go into Rockstar and see what we can find. No, no, no. How about this? This is striped like a rainbow. Molly, there's only three colors. Rainbows have more colors than that. Okay, um, uh, uh, what else do they got? Um, come on, don't let me down. Oh, look, I look adorable. I got mine. I got mine. Brookie, how are you doing? I can't find anything except for this silly party hat. Oh, no, yeah, that will not do. You need to change your shirt. Um, see if you can find something. They don't have anything in my size. Uh-oh. Brookie's gonna get expelled. Bum, bum, bum! No, Molly, no, no, no. We'll just help her. Even if we have to just color her shirt in with some markers. How about these? <laughs> these will work, right? No, you need a shirt that's rainbow. Oh, my gosh. Don't worry. Daisy's got a good idea. We can go to the craft store and, and just color your shirt in with, like, some... Some, like, Sharpie markers, okay? All right. I feel like I'm going to look ridiculous. No, no, no. You'll be fine. Come on, let's go. Just one more color and it will be complete. Don't stick me with that needle, Molly. No, it's just how I'm making the colors on your tie-dye shirt. There. Perfect. Ah, oh, thank goodness. We all have a rainbow-colored clothes for tomorrow. Now none of us will get expelled. Yeah, but I got to get home and do my homework. I'll see you guys in the morning. Sounds good. Bye. Whoa. We all wore our rainbow shirts. We're not going to get expelled now. Come on. Let's get into class. Oh, look who it is. Loser one. Loser two. What? Who's that loser? And loser three. Oh, my God. Sarah, you you wore your Billie Eilish shirt. But, but, but today's rainbow day. And if you, you didn't wear rainbow, you're going to get expelled by the principal. <laughs> You losers fell for that. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? <laughs> Today's not Rainbow Day at all. Wait, it isn't? No, and now you guys look like a bunch of freaks, weirdos. 
Oh my gosh, I haven't worn a rainbow colored shirt since, I don't know, five years old and now I look ridiculous. Everybody knows that these Billie Eilish shirts are the cool ones. Well, what about mine? Mine's tie-dye, isn't mine cool? No, not even. I have your attention, please. This is the principal. Oh my gosh, the principal's gonna make an announcement. Probably that you guys are total losers. <laughs> Today is rainbow day. If you aren't wearing a rainbow shirt, please report to the office. What? What are you talking about? I, I, there's no such thing as rainbow day. Uh, Sarah, you better report to the office. The principal seems a little bit annoyed. Sarah, you didn't wear rainbow on rainbow day? What is going on here? Didn't you hear the rumor? If you don't wear rainbow on rainbow day, you get expelled by the principal. But you're the principal. Yeah, but but I don't want to have to expel myself, so I wore rainbow too. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Where did you hear the rumor from? One of the teachers in the faculty room. They, they said that, 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 that we had to wear rainbow today. Or Brookhaven would be exploding. And also all the students would get expelled. Whoa, 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 whoa. I never said Brookhaven would explode. Wait a minute. You made up Rainbow Day? Oh my gosh. The plot thickens. Um, Mr. Sminikins, I don't know what you're talking about, but I made up the whole rumor. Wait, what? Why did you do that? Why is... Why? So that I could make Molly, Daisy, and her friend Brookie look ridiculous in front of the whole school. But... The only one that looks ridiculous is you. Everyone else is wearing rainbow. Well, that, that's just because I'm awesome. The entire football team and cheerleading team are all wearing rainbow. What? Billie Eilish is so not cool on rainbow day. What? The, I, I... You, uh, are expelled. What? But, but... I have no choice. It's the rules on rainbow day. Oh, this is the worst day ever. Molly and Daisy, I'm going to get my revenge on you. Oh. I wonder what happened to Sarah. She's been gone a really long time. Oh, I can't believe this. I got expelled. Oh my gosh, Sarah got expelled. Well, must be the rumors about Rainbow Day were actually true. <laughs> Dad, this show is hilarious. Mmm, these Doritos are good. Oh, baby Kira did not want to go down for a nap. Oh, sorry, honey. I'll get her on the next one. Sure. Mom, you want some Doritos? That might make you feel better. Oh, yuck. Those smell so gross. Doritos smell gross? What's wrong with you? My stomach hurts really bad. Oh, honey. That sounds terrible. Would you like some chicken noodle soup? No! Don't talk about food! Ew! Do you want some water? No, I don't want anything. I just want my stomach to stop hurting. Oh, Mom, I'm so sorry. Maybe you have the stomach bug. And if you do, I'm going to stand way over here because I don't want it. That's good, because the smell of those Doritos is going to make me throw up. Oh, man. Maybe we better get you the puke bucket. Molly, seriously, please stop crunching those Doritos. Okay, Mom, I'll put them away. I'm so sorry you don't feel good. Here you go, honey. Here's the barf bucket, just in case you need it. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Incoming. <laughs> Ew, gross. Okay, um, it's about time for me to leave. <laughs> Marley, what's going on over there? You're interrupting my reading. Mom's throwing up into a bucket. Ew, gross. Is she in the stomach bug? I don't know what's wrong with her. She might. Oh, no. We're all going to catch it. I just know it. Don't worry, honey. I'll take care of baby Kira. Thanks, Dan. Uh. <sighs> Is it time to wake up already? Come on, honey. It's time to get up for work. And, well, the girls, they, they need to be driven to school because, you know, vacation's over. No, I can't get out of bed ever again. Seriously, honey? Is your stomach still upset? Yeah, I threw up all night long. 
Honey, maybe you should go to the hospital. No, you take the girls to school. I'll stay here. Hopefully I feel better soon. Come on, Molly, get in! Why are we riding in the sheriff's car, Dad? Because Mom can't drive us to school today. That's right, girls, and I have to hurry so I'm not late for work. We look like criminals back here, Dad! Yeah, we kind of do. <laughs> We're behind the metal cage, even. Yeah, if you didn't know, there's like a metal cage between the cop and the criminals, and we're, we're in the back of the cop car, and we didn't even do anything wrong! Molly, if you get another detention, I'm going to put you back here for reals and take you to jail. Seriously? Is Mom going to be okay, Dad? I'm really worried about her. I'm worried too, but I think she's going to be fine. I may need to take her to the hospital, and if I do, I'll tell the school right away so they'll send you home. Really? Well, then we should definitely take her to the hospital because <laughs> I want to get out of school. Molly! See you later, Dad. Have a good day. Bye, girls. Love you. Okay, now I've got to drop baby Kira off at preschool. Oh, my God. I forgot baby Kira at home. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Dad's having a really hard time right now. Yeah, he's not used to doing Mom's schedule, but don't worry. He'll get the hang of it. Seriously, what is wrong with me? Oh. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm going to die. Ugh. Maybe a nice warm bath will help my stomach feel better. Oh, wait, you don't think? No, it couldn't be, Laura. Don't even think that. But it could be. Maybe I should take a test. Oh my gosh, I might be pregnant. Okay, the instruction said just to... Wait and see if it turns blue. If it's blue, it means I'm going to have a baby. I mean, I already have baby Kira and Molly and Daisy. Oh, there's going to be so many diapers. So many diapers. Okay, let's not freak myself out right now. It's probably just the stomach flu and I'll be fine tomorrow. Oh my gosh, it turned blue. O-M-G. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, I'll just call Dan and ask him to come home, and then um, we'll figure this out together. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Hey, honey, what's up? Are you still really sick? You need me to take you to the hospital? Um, Dan, could you come home? Um, okay, yeah. Let me just let me just um um tell my my boss, and and I'll be right there. Yeah, I think that's a really good idea, Dan. See you in a little while. Are you okay, honey? Um, I think so. Okay, I'll be right there, honey. Honey, what's honey? What's wrong? Are you okay? What's that you have in your hand? Um, well, it's a pregnancy test. A what? A, a, a what? A pregnancy test. Uh, yeah, okay, but why do you have that? Well, I have it because my stomach felt like it did when I was pregnant with baby Kira. Oh my gosh! Well, what did it say? It says I'm um, I'm pregnant. We're gonna have another baby. Oh my gosh! Oh, all oh, the diapers! So many diapers! Oh, oh. Dan, are you okay? Dan? Yeah, okay. How to pull this together? We're having a baby? Yeah. How do you feel about it? Actually, honey, I'm kind of glad. You are? I love kids, and I think we have a really nice family. I do too. Except for I wish I could stop throwing up. I'll be right back. I have to go to the bathroom. Honey, are you okay? I'm going to be a dad again. Maybe this time I'll actually get a boy. Three girls and no sons. <sighs> Look, Molly. Dad's car is home. Oh my gosh. He never comes home early. You know what this means. Something's wrong with mom. Something's really wrong with mom. 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 Oh, hey, honey. What's up? Mom, are you okay? Why are you eating cotton candy? Mm, it just sounded good. Mom, huh? are you dying? Tell us the truth. Girls, of course I'm not. But Dad and I have a really big announcement. Um, honey, I brought you all these snacks. I wasn't sure which one you wanted. Announcement? Yeah, Mom's finally over the stomach bug, apparently. Look at all this food. Nah, she'll be sick tomorrow morning, too. Seriously? Why? What, what's wrong? What disease do you have? Oh, I don't have a disease, girls. <laughs> I'm pregnant. Say what? Pregnant? What are you talking about? You already have a baby. You just had one. Her name's Baby Kira. Did you forget about her? No, it's just, well, 
Ah, <sighs> you're going to have a new little sister. Or brother. Oh. My. Gosh. Seriously? Yep, I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, but I already took a test, so I know I'm pregnant. Oh my gosh. Another baby? What if this time you have a boy? That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. This is amazing news, ma'am. Well, Molly, what do you think about it? Ah, I can see into my future now. Come on, little brother. Please, stop stop pooping your pants. It's so gross. Oh, Molly. Mm -hmm. The other one needs a diaper change, too. Other one? What are you talking about? Yeah, your little sister, remember? Huh? What? How many babies did you have? Oh, just another eight. Eight? Shh, hush, little baby. Hush, hush. Oh, my gosh. Mom, stop having babies. My future looks grim. Oh, Molly. But look at all the snacks you get till the baby gets here. Baby, is there only one? Or is there eight? Eight? I hope not. <laughs> Dan, if I'm having eight babies, we need a lot more pizza. I'm on it. <laughs> Do you want some uh, juice with that too, honey? No, she can't have eight babies. No! Here comes Brookie now. Good morning, Molly. Good morning, Daisy. Good morning. Oh, Molly, I love your um autumn scarf. That's so cute. Yeah, she's been talking about it all morning. Something about getting ready for Halloween and stuff. Yeah, I'm so excited for Halloween and for fall and stuff. I don't know. I just I like when the leaves all change colors and stuff. Yeah, me too. But um, Molly, your scarf looks adorable, but um, you forgot something. Oh my gosh, you're right. I forgot to get a pumpkin spice latte from 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 Starbucks. Oh my gosh, my day's gonna go terrible now. No, Molly, that's not what you forgot. It isn't? Oh my gosh, I forgot a, a pumpkin spice um donut from, from Starbucks. Oh man, I don't have a pumpkin spice latte or a donut. This is going to be a doubly bad day. <laughs> no, Molly, what I meant is you forgot your book bag. Wait, what? Yeah, did you forget your homework again? Oh man. I was so busy putting on this adorable scarf that I forgot my backpack. Oh, I'm definitely going to get detention now. Well, Molly, you could hurry up and do your homework right now. Yeah, it was just a handout. You could go make a copy and then do your homework really quick before the bell rings. Huh, I think it's going to be too late. It's definitely going to be too late. <laughs> Not me. I always think of the best excuses. Good morning, class. Happy fall. Mom, you took my seat. Rude. Uh, I'm sitting here because I want to be the best student ever. Sitting right in the front row, of course. Right, Mrs. Smith? Uh, sure, Molly. <laughs> Turning over a new leaf, huh? Yeah. <laughs> a fall leaf. Get it? Because it's fall. Oh, brother. All right, everyone. Why don't we take out our homework and uh, we can hand that in. I want to get that over with right away. We want to see who did their homework and who didn't. Well, Molly. Daisy, shh. Um, Mrs. Smith, um, you see, uh, I did my homework, but there was this stray dog that was eating out of the dumpster. Oh, here we go. This is going to be a good one. It always is, Daisy. I can't wait to hear her excuse today and whether or not the teacher actually buys it. You guys, be quiet. Okay, this is the truth. I did my homework, but there was a stray dog outside the diner eating from the dumpster. I felt so bad. I went over to see if he needed help. I put my backpack down, but my homework was hanging out of it. I was like, are you okay, stray dog? He ran away, and then, um, well, um... Somehow we got my homework out of my backpack and ate it. But he was starving, Mrs. Smith. I had to give him my homework. He was hungry. Oh, Molly. I can't stay for detention today. I have a date, so I guess you don't have detention. A date? Woo la la! Ugh, my stomach feels kind of... That, never mind. Molly, I'm sitting right behind you. Excuse me! Oh, no, 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 I'm not done. Uh, teacher? Teacher, 
Teacher, teacher, teacher! I have to go to the bathroom! Oh, uh, okay, Molly. Are you just trying to get out of the pop quiz? No! No, 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 no! My stomach really hurts. I have to go potty. I have to go potty. I have to go potty. Uh, yeah, trust me. I'm sitting behind her, and it stinks back here. She has to go. All right, Molly. Go ahead. Ha! Thank you! I knew I shouldn't have eaten that bean burrito for breakfast. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, my goodness. Ah! Ah! Huh, that's better. Just gonna flush the toilet. Wait, what, what, why won't the toilet flush? Oh my god, this is so embarrassing! And I'm not done. Alright, I have to go into this next bathroom because I still have to go potty and that one won't flush. Yep, definitely shouldn't have eaten that bean burrito. Oh my gosh, okay, I just have to flush. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! The toilet, it, 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 it started to overflow! Okay, I'll just walk out of the bathroom casually like nothing's happening. I'm as cool as a cucumber! I didn't overflow the toilet in the bathroom. No, 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 not me. <laughs> oh boy, someone get some air freshener. Stop! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, the school is flooding! What? The school is flooding? What do you mean? The school is flooding and I think it started in the bathroom! Um, uh, the school is flooding because of the bathroom? Uh, I don't know what they're talking about. Didn't you just go to the bathroom, Molly? No. Daisy, shh. Okay, everybody wait outside the school while I clean up this giant mess. Um, okay, if you say so. Oh, boy, that's a little embarrassing. Good thing nobody knows it was me. May I have your attention, please? This is your principal speaking. There will be an early dismissal today. Oh, it must be because it's raining and we're going to get a storm. Uh, yeah, it looks like uh, we're going to, like, drown in this. You're getting an early dismissal because somebody overflowed all the toilets in the girls' bathroom. And now it's flooding all of Brookhaven. Get on the school bus immediately and go home. Marty, did you eat a bean burrito for breakfast? Uh, uh. You're flooding all of Brookhaven. What are you guys talking about? Molly went poo-poo and it's flooding all in Brookhaven. Ew, gross! Um, guys, I think we better get the school bus and get out of here. Well, you guys should be thanking me. We got an early dismissal. <laughs> There's the bus. Come on, guys. Anything to get out of this doo-doo water. Gross. Yeah, you could say that again. Uh, Molly, why are you driving? I don't know, I think the school bus driver like quit or something. I quit too if I had to do all these early dismissals. Okay, Molly, well, drive us home. All right, here we go. I don't know, I don't trust Molly's driving. I don't know what you're talking about, I'm a great driver. Watch out for that sign! Oh boy, you really are a terrible driver, Molly. Are you guys sure that your mom won't mind I come over to your house? She's probably doing lots of work. Yeah, she works from home on Mondays, so, you know, no big deal. Okay, well, maybe we should just ask her first. Don't worry, she loves you, Brookie. Everything's gonna be fine. Mom, we got out of school early! Wait, what? Uh, what are you doing home? Um, well, uh... Molly ate a bean burrito for breakfast and flooded the toilets and all of downtown is flooded. What? Oh, yeah, you guys are kidding me, right? <laughs> what really happened? No, for real. She really did flood the toilet. Molly, oh my goodness. Don't eat a bean burrito again. Is it okay if I hang out over here? Of course, Brookie. Mom, I thought you had a bunch of work to do. Uh, yeah, I'm just taking a little lunch break. I was about to watch some TV, and you eat a Hershey bar for lunch? And you're always nagging me about eating healthy. Well, uh, I'm a grown-up, and you're a kid. All right, guys, first thing we do on our um, early dismissal routine is get a delicious snack. What do you guys want? I got waffles, I got ice cream, I got pizza. Ooh, pizza sounds delicious. Mm. I am so too. Help yourself to anything you want, guys. Mm. That is some delicious pizza. What do you guys want to do? You want to, like, ride bikes or something? First, I want to, like, just chill out and watch some TV. Because, um, yeah, I don't get to watch TV during the day that much. And I really want to because there's always good shows on. No, there's not, Molly. Really? The Puppy and Kitten show is on. 
Who doesn't like that? I like that. I love early dismissals. Mm. You guys should have eaten apple to too much how feel. Does she even know how to be cool? Seriously. Puppies and kittens, they're so cute. Oh, I'm so glad I'm not at school right now. I'm taking a pop quiz. Instead, my stomach is full of pizza and my brain is full of puppies and kittens. Yeah, this is fun, but like, let's go outside and ride our bikes or something. Good idea. Come on, let's go. Have fun, girls. Be safe. We will, Mom. Oh, man. School bus got like stuck right there. <laughs> Molly, I love your bike. Thanks. I just got it. And um, the color green is like... It glows in the dark at night so nobody like runs into you or anything. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, where's Daisy? She said she was going to stay inside and do some studying. Oh, of course she did. Whee! Uh-oh. Where's the brakes? Where's the brakes? Oh, ow, ow, ow. Molly, are you okay? Oh, I'm underneath the bus. Oh. Well, Molly, you don't look too hurt. I mean, besides the fact that you ran into the bus and it looks like you're missing some of your teeth. What? Missing some of my teeth? Wah! It's okay, Molly. I'm sure the dentist can, like, sew them back in or something. You want to go to the park? Um, uh, yeah, okay. Ooh, Brookie, look. It's the Brookhaven Cemetery. I double dog dare you to go in. What? You didn't even say, d um, dare first. You just went to double dog. Well, yeah, because I definitely want you to go in there. I'm not afraid. I could go in there. There's, there's nothing in there. I gotta see this one. <laughs> right before Halloween, she goes into a graveyard. She's super brave. See, Molly, there's nothing in here to be afraid of. Not a single... Oh, my God! Is that a ghost? Molly, run! Ah! Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. <sighs> there's a ghost in the cemetery! Of course there is! There's a lot of dead people in there! <sighs> well, Molly, <laughs> this has been a pretty crazy early dismissal routine. Yeah, there was nothing routine about it. And, um, Molly, you might want to go have your teeth sewn back in. Yeah, I'll worry about that tomorrow. Right now, I just want to soak up this autumn sun while I'm not in school. So, Molly, do you want to tell me what happened to your teeth? Uh, well, uh, well, it all started at school because I had a bean burrito. Oh, boy, I can tell already this is going to be one crazy story. <laughs> Oh, I'm so thirsty. Molly, we just had breakfast five minutes ago. I know, but I need some milk. I need some milk! Uh, you're so lucky. I wish I could drink some milk. What? Why? Excuse me, we're trying to have a conversation. Rude! Molly, don't say that. They'll put you in time out. So, Daisy, why can't you drink any milk? My tummy just feels kind of funny today. Uh, it's even sticking out farther than it normally does. You know what that means? It means you gotta fart. <laughs> Repeat after me. <laughs> Ew, Molly, you probably went doo-doo in your diaper. Good morning, girls. Who's ready to ride the ponies? Oh, Molly, you look so sad. What's wrong? I have to tinkle. I have to go potty. Okay, come with me. And then we're gonna go ride the ponies. Aren't you excited? Yeah, I I'm pretty excited. I'm really thirsty, though. Okay, go ahead. Sit on the potty. Can I have a drink? I need some milk. Hello? Hello? Uh-oh, she left. I can't believe she left me all alone on the potty. What if I fall in? What if I What if I go down to the sewer and I drown? Um, Molly, I think you're being a little dramatic. I'm right here, and you're just fine. Now go wash your hands, please. Okay, fine. I can't believe she left me there alone. Terrible caregiver! Molly... I think you're just a little grumpy. Maybe you need a snack before we ride the ponies? Yeah, I need a snack. Of course I do. You always get so hangry. Um, is Daisy gonna have a snack too? I don't buy a snack. I don't feel good. Oh, Daisy, your stomach still hurts? Well, maybe you're just hungry, sweetheart. Why don't we try feeding you something? All right, Molly, let's just put you in your high chair and give you a snack and a drink, and then we'll go ride the ponies. Okay, mmm, rice, mmm, this is delicious. Daisy, are you sure you don't want any? No, my stomach hurts so bad. I think there might be something wrong with me. 
Oh, honey, it's probably just just like a little a little tummy upset. You'll be okay. I'm feeling pretty good. I ate tons of rice and it was delicious, and then I had a bottle of milk. Ah, my tummy is so happy. My tummy feels awful. Well, maybe once you ride the ponies, you'll feel better, Daisy. Come on, let's go. Oh, look it, I think that pony really likes me. Hi, I'm Molly. Molly, horses don't speak English. Oh, well, maybe they speak horse. It's because yes I can. Ooh, here comes a unicorn or Pegasus. I think it's a Pegasus because it's got wings. I want to ride the Pegasus. Okay, the Pegasus obviously wants me to ride it, but I don't, I don't know how to get on its back. I'm too little. Teacher, help me! There you go, Molly. You just needed a little bit of help. Yeah. <laughs> this is fun. Wee! Um, and also that's not a Pegasus. That's a flying unicorn. Flying unicorn? Whoa. The wings are beautiful. Um, can you stop going so fast though? You're making my tummy hurt. Tell me about it. My tummy's been hurting all day. Okay, girls. Well, since your tummies are both hurting, maybe it's time to go for a nap. Or maybe it's time to go to the hospital. Oh. I don't feel right. I want to see a doctor right now. Oh, Daisy, it's really that bad? No. Yeah, she's been telling you. Uh-oh. No. Oh, my gosh. She no. just threw up everywhere. No. All over that girl. Oh, no. I don't feel good. Ew, you threw up on me. Gross. Does anyone have any paper towels? Um, no, but you could go to get some at the nurse's station. Oh, Daisy, this is making me so sad that you're so sick. Girls, we need to take Daisy to the hospital and quick. Daisy, everything's gonna be okay, I promise. Molly, my stomach, it hurts so, so bad. Oh no, Daisy, I'm so sorry this is happening to you. You're the most annoying sister in the world, but I hate to see you sick. I know, it's just so awful. <laughs> well, the doctor's gonna know what to do, I know it. They're gonna make you all better. May I have your attention, please? The next patient is Daisy. I need to go potty. I'm going to throw up. Ah, uh, you better hurry up. She she needs a wheelchair. Somebody help. I don't need a wheelchair. I have to go to the bathroom. And also, I think I'm going to throw up again. Not on me. Oh, my gosh. I don't want to get thrown up on you. Do you have a bucket, Molly? Oh, my stomach. Hi there. I'm Dr. Smith, and I'd be happy to help your sister. Well, you better hurry because she's about to go poo-poo in her pants, and she's throwing up. Oh my. Okay, sweetheart, just get right into the wheelchair and I'll take you into the exam room. And are you okay, little girl? My name's Molly and yeah, I'm just really tired. Having a sister that's sick is exhausting. Right this way, sweetheart. Everything's going to be a-okay. I hope so. I, I really need a drink. I want some milk and I want my mommy. I want my mommy too. Well, your mommy's at work, but don't worry. She's been called. She'll be here as soon as possible. Now, I just need you to lay down in this bed so we can do a checkup and see if there's something wrong with your tummy. Okay, Daisy, let's take a look at your tummy. First, I'm going to put a little bit of pressure on your tummy, and I'm going to feel for any bumps or lumps. I'm feeling very sick. When I turn you or twist you this way, does your tummy hurt? Yes, it hurts so bad. All right, we're gonna need to get an x-ray of your stomach and maybe an ultrasound too. Oh my gosh, is that gonna hurt? No, neither one of those hurt at all. Now, come on, Daisy. Oh my gosh, I'm so worried about my sister. Oh man. I also have to go to the bathroom. I'm really thirsty and I need a nap. Worst day ever! <laughs> What's happening, doctor? What did you find out? Well, we did the x-ray and your sister has to have her appendix out. Wait, what? I want to have surgery. <laughs> Don't worry, sweetie. You won't feel a thing because you'll be asleep. And when you wake up, you'll eat all the ice cream you can stand. Whoa, sounds pretty good to me, Daisy. Could I have surgery too? I want to eat ice cream. I don't want to. <laughs> all right, sweetie. I'm just going to lay you on the operating table and give you some medicine that'll help you fall asleep. 
when you wake up, your mom will be here and everything will be all over and your tummy won't hurt anymore. Oh my gosh, I can't believe my sister's gonna have surgery at Twilight Daycare. Do they do surgery here? Yes, we have doctors on staff for such things. Now you'll have to wait in the waiting room, Molly. You can't be in the surgery room, of course. Of course. Oh my gosh, my poor sister. Will she be okay? Will she survive? Oh my gosh, I'm so worried about my sister. She's so annoying, but... <laughs> wait a minute. I'm worried about her, but I'm also feeling kind of hungry. Where's the snack bar? I totally need to go get a snack. Ooh, a snack bar. Full of donuts? Yes, please. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. All right, let's see how much everything costs. Ooh, two dollars. I probably can afford that, I think. Give me a donut! My sister's in the hospital, I need it! Oh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was delicious. Can I buy another one? Oh, I'm totally gonna eat all these donuts until I explode. Mm. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? Daisy has just finished surgery. Daisy has just finished surgery. Oh, wow. I can't stay here and eat all these donuts. I gotta go see my sister. Daisy? Daisy, are you okay? I feel kind of funny. My stomach doesn't really hurt anymore, though. I want my mommy! Oh, Daisy, mom's gonna be here any minute. I just know it. How was the surgery? I don't know. I don't remember anything. All I know is they said, count to three. I went one, two. Now I woke up over here. I guess the surgery's over. Yeah, the surgery's over, Daisy. Now they said you could eat as much ice cream as you want. Well, that's good, because I'm very hungry from not eating all day. Oh, I'm so glad you can eat again, and that your stomach doesn't hurt anymore. Yeah, except for they told me after the surgery I'd have to fart a lot. Say what? Yeah, and I'm sort of feeling... Ew, Daisy! Cassie. <laughs> oh my gosh, that smells awful! Oh, it's making me wanna... Ew, Molly! Sorry, you stink so bad, gross! Oh, you're so dramatic. I want my mom. I want my mom! Daisy already told you, she's coming any minute. She's gonna take you home, and then you're not gonna be able to go to um, Twilight Daycare for at least probably a week because you had surgery. Yeah, but that's okay. I'll stay home and eat ice cream and watch all the TV I want while well, you have to come and do class and homework and stuff. Wait, what? I have to come even though you don't? That sounds completely unfair! Oh, it is, Molly. All you have to do is have surgery. I don't want surgery, but I don't want to come to school every day. Uh, Molly, that's just the way educational daycare is. And since you're not sick, you get to do all the homework. I don't like this. I don't like this at all! Wow, it's so nice outside today. You can tell that spring is right around the corner. Wait, soccer ball, don't go over the edge. Oh, no. Wait, wait, oh my gosh. There goes another one of my soccer balls. Oh, man. Hey, Molly. Brookie, is that you? Holy guacamole, look at your hair. I know, right? It's so different. I love it. Oh, whoa, it's awesome. You like straightened your hair and you dyed it darker and then you put red streaks in it. Holy cow, that's amazing. I love it. I love it. Oh, thanks, Molly. So, um, what are you doing? I'm playing with my soccer ball, but it accidentally rolled off into town. But that's okay, because I was thinking that maybe I could go to the salon and get crazy hair, too, because us besties, you know, we should, like, both have crazy hair together. Do you think my hair looks crazy? No, 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 not like crazy, like, woo, woo. Crazy like amazing. Like, you're so crazy, girl. You look amazing. Okay, I think I know what you mean, Molly. So, you want to have crazy amazing hair, too? Yes, exactly. Let's go. Molly, wait a minute. What? What is it? Um, I think maybe you should ask your mom first. She's kind of strict, and I don't know if she's going to let you do your hair like that. Um, I, I don't think she'll mind. We should just go. Molly, you know that your mom will probably say no. But you should ask her because you don't want to get grounded for the rest of your life. Okay, fine. I'll go ask her. I'll wait right here, Molly. Hopefully she says yes. Yeah, I hope so. 
Hey, Miley, what kind of trouble are you getting into? What kind of trouble are you getting into? I'm not getting into any trouble. Mom, mom. Yes, Molly? Oh, I was just trying to think of what I was going to make for dinner tonight. Um, well, while you're thinking about that and not really paying attention, I have a question for you. No, Molly, you can't eat cheesecake for dinner. No, Mom, I was thinking, no, you can't eat a cupcake for dinner. No, 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 it's not about dinner. Um, Brookie dyed her hair like this dark color with red streaks in the front. What? Seriously? Her mom let her do that? Yeah, and it looks amazing. I was wondering, um... Can I take my allowance and um, dye my hair too? Um, no, Molly, I don't think so. What? Why not? Because, Molly, your hair is so beautiful the way it is. Besides, why do you want to dye it? Because I think it'll be really cool, Mom. And besides, look at your hair. I mean, your hair is like rainbow. I, I, I don't understand why I can't have rainbow hair. Well, Molly, I'm a grown-up, so I can do whatever I want with my hair. You're not a grown-up, so you have to do what I say. Mom, I'll do my homework every single night without complaining or detention for the entire month. Come on, Mom, that's a great bargain. Please, please, please! Ugh, you need to do your homework regardless, Molly, but the answer is still no. Maybe when you get a little older. Older? I practically have gray hair! Mom, I am so old. Ugh, so old. Look at these bones. They hardly walk anymore. The only thing that could help me be not so old is to get my hair dyed. Molly, quit being so ridiculous. You're not old at all. You're not even a grown-up yet. And the answer is no. Mom, it's not fair. Why? Molly, I just think you have beautiful hair the way it is. Let's just leave it that way. Fine! Ugh, worst day ever! Hi, Molly, are you having a great day? I am. Don't even talk to me right now, Daisy! Whoa, she's in a bad mood. Molly, um, how did... Uh-oh, it didn't go well, did it? Uh, uh, uh... Oh, Molly, I'm sorry. Y you can't get your hair dyed? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna get my hair dyed, all right. She said yes, that's amazing! Come on, let's go to the salon. I can't wait. Oh, I'll race you there, Brookie. Oh, yeah, right. My bike is so much faster than yours, Molly. I don't think so. Looks like I'm beating you. Oh, whoa, we almost ran into each other. Whoa! Molly, what are you doing? Be careful. Ah, I forgot which way the salon was because I never go there. Hey, you're cheating by doing a shortcut through the park. Uh, yeah, I'm going to win. Duh. Brookie! What? You said it was a race. Oh, man, Molly, I totally won. Ugh, I need a faster bike. Well, you can't afford a new bike and your hair getting dyed, so what's it going to be? New hair. Hi there, sweetie pie. What can I do for you today? Um, I'm going to have my hair dyed. Do you know what color, honey? Um, no, not really, but I'm going to think about it while you're washing my hair, okay? Sounds good. Sweetie Pie, is this the lady who did your hair? Yep, it sure is. Liz is the best hairdresser in all of Brookhaven. She's so fabulous. Look at her makeup and her hair. She's so amazing. So grown up. Yeah, I'm so grown up too. I can't even believe that I get to have the hair done. Yeah, and then maybe we could do your makeup too if you want. Uh, I don't know. I definitely want my hair done though. Mm -hmm. Okay, is this water too hot? Ow! Yeah, that was super hot. Holy guacamole. Oopsie, sorry. <laughs> Let's try that again. How's that? Too cold! Ah! Sorry. Okay, I think I have it just right this time. Okay, I hope so. Man. All right, you're all washed up. You can go get into the chair, and we'll talk about what color you want your hair to be. So, what are you thinking? I'm thinking about doing pink. Something totally different that I would never do. Pink? Really, Molly? That's so, like, different than what you'd normally do. I know, right? But I think it could be amazing. It'll look amazing on you, Molly. Go for it. Thanks, bestie. I just still can't believe your mom said yes. Um, yeah, well, uh... She did say yes, right, Molly? Um... There! I'm done! You look gorgeous, darling. Thank you. Molly, your mom did say yes, right? Well, not exactly, but once she sees how amazing my hair looks, she'll feel bad for not saying yes. Or she'll ground you for life. Let's make her hair blonde again. Oh, I'm sorry, but I can't change her hair color twice in one day. It'll make her hair fall out. My hair fall out? 
Oh my gosh, no, I think that sounds like a bad idea. And besides, the pink looks amazing on me. Even Liz said I look gorgeous, darling. Well, I have to admit, Molly, it's very different. It's even more drastic than mine, I think. Come on, let's go back to my house and have a snack. Excuse me, are you going to pay for your pink hair? Oh yeah, sorry about that, Liz. <laughs> I gotta pay you. How much was it? $300. $300? Um, uh, I'm really sorry, but I only have 250. Ugh, okay, well, I guess you're gonna have to sweep the floors then because, uh, basically, you have to pay for it. Oh, Molly, you didn't see how much it was before you came in? No, now I have to sweep the floors to pay for it. Don't forget to get all the hair! Ew, gross, I gotta vacuum up hair? That's disgusting. That's what it's like when you work in a salon! Do a really good job, please. You owe me $50. All right, fine. There, how's that? Well, it looks great. But next time, try to come with all the money, okay? Sure, thanks, Liz. My hair looks fabulous. I know, darling. You look gorgeous. Molly, I'm really worried about what your mom is gonna say. It's gonna be fine. Now, come on, let's get out our bikes and go back to my house and get a snack. I'm starving. I'll beat you there. Molly, you never beat me there. Oh my gosh, she always thinks she's gonna beat me there. She never does. I'm going to this time, if I can make it up that giant hill, cause the hill is huge. I should ride my bike more and get in better shape. <laughs> OMG, beat you Molly. What? Oh, you always beat me, that's so annoying. Come on, let's go get a snack. Hey Daisy. Holy guacamole, what happened to your hair? Um, what happened to it is I look amazing. Oh my gosh, mom is gonna ground you for the rest of your life, Molly. I don't think so when she sees how amazing my hair looks. Oh boy, I don't know what to say to you, Molly, right now, except for good luck. Mom, I need a snack. Oh hey, Molly, what did you do to your hair? Please tell me that's a Halloween wig. Please. No, it's my actual hair. Liz at the salon said I look gorgeous, darling. Molly, I told you you weren't allowed to dye your hair. Yes, but mom, it looks fabulous, doesn't it? That's besides the point. You are grounded. What? No, mom, I know that you, would, you said no, but look at my hair. It looks amazing. No, Molly, you went against what I said, and there's consequences for that. Consequences? You mean like having awesome hair? Oh boy, this is gonna be good. I got my popcorn for the show. Daisy, get out of here! I don't think so, Molly. <laughs> no, Molly, you're grounded for two weeks. You have to do extra chores to earn money to get your hair back to blonde. Two weeks? Okay, but I can still play Roblox, right? No. And your friend, Brookie, has to go home. Can't see her for two weeks. What? But mom! Molly, when I say no, I mean it. Now go to your room. Oh my gosh, this was a horrible idea. Uh, how'd it go, Molly? Daisy, leave me alone. Brookie, I'm sorry, but I can't be your best friend for the next two weeks. What? Yeah, we can't see each other for two old weeks. I'm grounded and I have to go to my room. No, Molly. I'll write you letters. Yeah, I guess since I can't get on the computer, we could write snail snail mail letters. Yeah, Molly, good luck. Thank you. Oh, man, this day stinks! <laughs>
He's just running around. Uh oh. <laughs> He's sitting down on the swing. <laughs> okay, guys, I gotta run home. Wait a minute. First, I should take a picture because I don't think my family will believe me that, 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 that there's there's zombies in Brookhaven. I've gotta pull my phone on my backpack and 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 take a photo. Yeah, that's what I gotta do. Say cheese, zombie. No, I said cheese. Okay, yeah, all you can say is brains. My house! I've never been so happy to see you, house. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Daisy, Daisy! What are you freaking out about, Molly? Oh, it's probably because you're gonna have to tell Mom you had detention again. No, Daisy, no, it's, it's much worse than that. You got in school suspension? Molly. No, 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 no. I, I, I was walking home from detention and, and, Molly, take a deep breath. You look like you saw a ghost. Worse, a zombie! Molly, don't be ridiculous. Stop pranking me. No, Daisy, seriously, I really saw a zombie in Brookhaven. I think there's going to be a zombie apocalypse. No, there's not, Molly. I don't believe you. Oh, really? Look at this. Holy guacamole! You, 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 you took a picture and some video of a real zombie? Whoa, that's YouTube gold. Or maybe we could put it on TikTok, too. Daisy, not the point! We're going to... We're gonna be eaten by zombies. They, they all want our brains. Oh my God, we have to tell mom and then we have to leave Brookhaven. Okay, well, maybe you should tell her. She believes you better. Yeah, that is true. You fib sometimes. But have your photo and video as backup just so we can show with a proof. Got it, Daisy. Come on, let's go tell her. Ah, <sighs> what am I gonna make for dinner tonight? Oh, hey girls. Molly, did you have detention again? Um, yes, but mom, we have something very, very scary, drastic, and crazy to tell you. What? Are you girls okay? What's going on? Mom, take it from me. I didn't want to believe Molly when she said this, but it's the truth. There's a zombie in Brookhaven. What? What are you talking about? That can't be true. Show her the video and the photos, Molly. Okay, mom, come look. What is that? It's a real life zombie, mom. We have to get out of here before all of Brookhaven panics and, 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 and we can't get out of here. Oh my gosh, you're right. Okay, you girls go start packing your bags. I'll call your dad at work. If we don't get out of here soon, mom, we might turn into zombies. Don't talk like that, Molly. Just go pack a bag. Don't bring too much. We need to be very mobile. Okay. Oh my gosh, what do I pack for a zombie apocalypse? I'd like to think of it as packing for a vacation. We're not staying in Brookhaven where the zombie apocalypse is. We're staying in a beautiful new town where there's no zombie apocalypse. Well, that is true, but I'm going to miss my friends. Yeah, me too. Here's hoping they don't turn into zombies. Yeah, here's hoping. Are you packed already, Daisy? I sure am, Molly. Daisy, do you think I should pack my metal detector? What? Why? Why would you need that? In case, you know, maybe you could detect a zombie or something. Molly, ma, they aren't made of metal. Uh, yeah, but, okay, yeah. I guess I don't need that. How about my guitar? And then I could be like, la, 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 in case we have a campfire. Molly, we're not going to have a campfire. We're just trying to escape from some zombies. Okay, well, what about my ice cream cart? You know, that thing is amazing. And we can make some extra money. I could sell it on the beach, you know. I could sell chocolate ice cream. Molly, just pack some clothes and stuff. And don't forget underwear. Why? Um, should I not pack, like, you know, like, anything else? Like, my computer or... Yes, bring your computer, of course. But, like, just, like... Clothes, underwear, socks, a hairbrush, a toothbrush, toothpaste. You know, the necessities, not a guitar. But what if we get bored and you need me to sing you a song to turn that frown upside down and not think about some zombies? Ay, ay, ay. I think sometimes, Molly, you're already brain dead. Oh, Daisy, that's rude. Just pack, Molly, hurry. I'm packing the guitar. I don't care what she says. Don't worry, family. I'm going to take care of all of us. Dad, you made it home. Yes, and I saw five more zombies. And and, it, and it's not good. They're going to make the announcement soon, and the roadways are going to get all clogged, and we're not going to be able to get out of Brookhaven, and then we're going to turn into a zombie family. Oh, man, that sounds awful. Okay, let's go get in the car and get out of here. Bye, Brookhaven. Bye, beautiful house. I'm going to miss you.
I brought a little vehicle to help us uh, so, you know, the zombies can't get in. Well, at least not right away. Only guacamole, Dad. You're super prepared. Okay, Molly, buckle up. It's going to be a bumpy, long ride out of Brookhaven. Really? Why aren't the roads paved? No, this vehicle is just really bumpy. Oh. <laughs> May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? Oh, listen, Dad. Um, they're making an announcement on the radio. Maybe they're going to give away, like, free tickets to Disney since, uh, you know, Brookhaven's kind of zombified. I don't think so, Molly. Let's just listen to the announcement. We want to let you know that zombies are starting to take over Brookhaven. We don't want anyone to panic. No panicking, please. But we don't want any of you to turn into zombies. So we're asking you all to stay in your houses. Do not leave your houses. Uh-oh, we broke that rule. Not really, Molly. I mean, we didn't know that we were supposed to stay in our house before they made the announcement. But look, we've already made it to almost the line. You know, the line out of town. Whoa! So far, nobody's on the road. Well, give it some time, Daisy. I'm sure a lot of people will be on the road soon trying to escape Brookhaven. Good thing we got out when we did so we don't turn into zombies. Dad, look! It looks like they put a wall up all around Brookhaven! Yeah, but look, there's still one road we can get out of. No, they've got a construction on that road. It's closed. Well, Molly, this is kind of a circumstance where I don't care about road construction. We need to get out of here before the zombies get us. Okay, Dad, well, put the pedal to the metal and let's get out of here. Mom, look, we're almost out of Blackhaven. I know, honey. We're finally going to be safe. Okay, everybody, here we go. Goodbye, Brookhaven. Wait a minute. What? It's blocked. What? There's like a force field here. Oh my gosh. They've, they've, they've made it impossible to leave. But the zombies are in Brookhaven. You have to let us out. Let us out of this force field right now. Oh my gosh. It's, it's, it's official. We're doomed. Breaking news, breaking news. The government has put a force field around Brookhaven because we are now considered a zombie zone and they don't want it to spread to the rest of the country or world. I hope you all remain safe and don't become zombies. This is our last news report. Goodbye. What? They put a force field around us and they're not gonna let us leave? But they're zombies! Speaking of zombies, um, there comes one right now! Ah! Okay. Um, guys, we need to go, like, right now. Where are we going to go? Everything's closed up. I don't know, but there's a zombie coming, and I can't get inside this giant truck. We're all going to die. Ah! Well, no, we're not going to die, Molly. We're just going to turn into zombies. We're now being a zombie family. Brains. I don't want to be a zombie. so annoying right now. Yeah, but don't you want to hear what I have to say? Huh? 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 Um, I guess maybe if it's not annoying. Whoa, my sister is so grumpy sometimes. Only because you make me, Molly. <laughs> um, Brookie just invited you and me over to her house to hang out. Do you want to go? I'd love to, Molly, but I'm doing this science research for the science fail. About puppies and kittens? Yeah, that's what it's about, my science project. It's adorable! Okay, well, suit yourself. I'm going to Brookie's and having tons of fun while you do all that homework and stuff. It's not homework, it's research. Okay, whatever, it all seems like homework to me. Boring, boring, and also boring! I can't wait to go to Brookie's house. And um, she has the craziest house ever in Brookhaven, but... Whatever, her mom just like loves plants, so <laughs> they have a greenhouse inside. Hey, Brookie! I just let myself in. I hope you don't ma mind. Oh, hey, Molly. No, I'm just doing my chores. Mom wants me to water these vegetables. She said that the squash are almost ready to plant, which means I'm going to have squash salad, squash sandwiches, squash pie, squash soup. Whoa, sounds like you're going to be eating a lot of squash. Yeah. You do live in a crazy house, though, and I think it's really cool. 
Thanks. Hey, you want to come to my room? Yeah, totally. Let's go. So, Brookie, tell me the truth. Come on. Do you like Jacob? What? <laughs> yeah, right. I see how you look at him in math class. I think you have a crush. Well, only my diary knows. Wait, you write in a diary? Yeah, it's right here. Can I read it? Ha, ha, ha. No, Molly, it's a secret. But you could have your own diary if you wanted, and you could write in that about, you know, crushes or enemies. Enemies? Do you have any enemies? Not really. <laughs> but I do have a crush that only me and my diary know about. Huh, I wonder who that could be. I'm not expecting anybody. Maybe it's somebody saying you want a trip to Disney. Wow. <laughs> I doubt it, Molly. Why? Anything's possible in this world. Anything, Brookie. Come on, let's go see who it is. If I can figure out how to get downstairs from your house. Aw, uh, it's, uh, it's Sarah. What is she doing here? My thoughts exactly. Uh, are you guys gonna, like, let me in or what? Um, that depends. Are you gonna be nice? Of course I am. I just came to hang out with you guys. Uh, I don't know if I trust her, Brookie. She seems nice enough today, anyway. All right, if you think so, I guess let her in. So what brings you to my house today, Sarah? Just wanted to hang out with you guys, but also I was just wondering, are like you guys best friends still? Uh, yeah, of course we are. Yeah, why wouldn't we be? Oh, I just heard everybody talking about you guys at school. Everybody? Why? What were they saying? They were saying that like, each of you says something rude about the other behind their back, like, all the time. What? Oh, that's not true at all! I would never say anything rude about Brookie behind her back! I wouldn't say anything rude about Molly behind her back. Why would everybody be saying that? I don't know, but, like, if you guys can't get along, maybe you shouldn't be friends. Sarah, we can get along just fine. We're best friends. Get over it. Well, okay, but I mean, maybe you guys just aren't meant to be BFFs. No, I don't think that's true, Sarah. Just because people talk doesn't mean that it means anything. People just talk, talk, talk. They always have opinions, but their opinions aren't always right. Yeah, opinions are like boogers. Everybody's got them, and they're always, well, ew. Uh, yeah, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> of course I couldn't. We're best friends. Um, you guys want a snack? I'm really hungry. You're hungry too? It's like you read my stomach's mind. <laughs> but then again, we're BFFs. Of course you know when I'm hungry. Well, actually, you just kind of knew when I was hungry. But maybe our stomachs communicate to one another. Could be. Do you want a snack, Sarah? No, I'll just stay here and wait until you get back. Okay, suit yourself. Do you have any cupcakes? You bet we do, Molly. Ooh, wait, are they squash cupcakes? <laughs> they may have squash in them. <laughs> What's she hiding under her dresser? Everybody hides something under their dresser. What's this? Her diary? <gasps> she loves Jacob? <laughs> well, that's a great piece of news. But also, I can take this diary and blame Molly for it. That'll be the end of their super annoying, perfect friendship. <laughs> I'm out of here. Mm, this is delicious, Brookie. Mm, I don't even taste the squash in it. Yeah, but chances are Mom put squash in it because she wants us to be healthy and stuff. Oh, Sarah, did you change your mind? No, I changed my mind about hanging out with you guys. You're just losers. Wow, rude. Okay, well, bye. Have a nice life. Wow, I don't know why she's so rude all the time. Me either, but it seems like she doesn't like us at all. Mm. I'm not going to let it ruin my day, though. Mm. Okay, maybe I taste the squash a little bit. So, um, what do you want to do now? Um, I think I'm going to write in my diary for a minute. Just because I feel kind of like sad about how Sarah was treating us. You write in your diary when you feel sad? Yeah, I find it's really helpful to write in my diary. It gets all of my emotions out on paper and doesn't leave them inside me to just make me feel like I'm gonna explode! Okay. <laughs> um, alright, well, I'll just chill over here then and like play on my phone or something. Ooh, a new obby! 
Oh, it's gonna be so fun. Where is it? Where, where is it? Oh my gosh, I can't find my diary anywhere. What are you looking for, Brookie? Did you take my diary? What? Me? No. Well, maybe you should empty out your pockets and show me. What? You don't believe me? I've been your best friend since preschool. You don't believe that I wouldn't take your things? I don't believe you because it's missing. And Sarah said you've been saying all those mean things about me and then you wanted to read my diary? Brookie, I didn't take it, I swear. You're the only one who knew where it was. Well, maybe Sarah took it. She didn't know where it was. She didn't even know I had a diary. You took it, Molly. Prove me wrong. I don't have to prove anything. This is ridiculous and my best friend doesn't even trust me. I'm out of here. Well, fine. You don't get to be my best friend anymore. Yeah, and I don't want to hang out at your house either as soon as I can figure out how to get out of your crazy greenhouse house. I'm going home. Oh, hey, Molly. I was just finishing up and thought I would come over and hang out with you and Brookie. You can go over that at that girl's house if you want, but she's no friend of mine. What? What are you talking about, Marty? Is this some sort of prank? No, she accused me of stealing her diary, and I didn't do it. Oh, yeah, Molly. You have a lot of things, but a thief isn't one of them. Why'd she think that? Because her diary went missing. Anyway, her and I are now enemies. She's not my friend. Ever. Again. Hey, Molly. <laughs> you didn't get detention today. That's amazing. Huh? What? Oh, hi. Hi, hi, hi Luke. Hey, um, so, uh, you didn't get detention. Yeah, I don't always get detention, just, like, most of the time, but not today. <laughs> oh, yeah, so, um, so are you going to go to the dance tomorrow night? Um, uh, uh, bye! Okay, bye, Molly! Oh, my gosh, I just got so nervous when you started talking about the dance. I ran away! Oh, why do I always do stupid things when Luke is around? Oh yeah, yeah. All right, I'm just gonna go around the corner and make sure he's not here anymore. Okay, I think he left. Good. Oh yeah, there he goes. He's going out the door. Oh, phew. I can't believe I'm so dumb around him. Molly, are you okay? Not really, Brookie. Ugh. I always do dumb stuff when Luke is around. Oh really? Um, why? Luke's really nice. Uh, it's not really funny, Brookie. It's it's kind of sad, actually. Sorry, it just seemed like you were joking. I mean, Molly, you're not dumb. You're one of the smartest people I know. Even if you don't do your homework because you're lazy. Me? Lazy? Never. Well, Molly, what makes you so nervous around Luke? You know what? I don't really want to talk about this at school. Want to come over to my house? Sure, Molly, let's go. All right, let's make sure Luke isn't outside. Uh, Molly, I think he's gone. And it's not like he has cooties or anything. What's what's going on with you? I'll tell you when we get to my house. Okay, Molly, so what's the deal? I'll tell you after we have a snack. Molly, are you just stalling? Come on, you need to tell me what's going on. First, I need a snack. I'm starving. All right, Molly, fine. Ooh, leftover pizza. Mmm, want some? Mmm, that's delicious. Nah, I'll just have an apple, thanks. So, what's the deal with Luke? Uh, okay, so here's the deal. Luke and I have been friends for a really long time. But I just started to feel like, well, maybe I like him, like, more than a friend. Wait, what? Like, you have a crush on Luke? Seriously, Molly? A crush on him? Um, well, um, I guess that's what you'd call it. I don't know, whenever he's around now, I get butterflies in my tummy. I say dumb things. I sort of ran away when he started talking about the dance. What? Do you think he was gonna ask you to the dance? I don't know, but maybe. I can't go with him though, I'd be too nervous. Are you crazy, Molly? He's your crush. You have to go to the dance with him. It'd be so magical. You guys can dance, you could wear a pretty dress. I don't know about all that. I don't, I don't know. Molly, trust me on this. So, um, how are you going to tell him you like him? Um, I'm not! I'm not going to tell him! Molly, you can't run away from me! I'm your friend and you invited me over! Okay, I'm just sitting on the couch. Just, I, 
can't talk about this anymore. Listen, Molly, I have the perfect plan. Uh-huh, sure. I can't talk about this anymore. It's too stressful. Molly, I think you should write Luke a love letter. Say what? A love letter? <laughs> I didn't say I loved him. Obviously you do, Molly. You um, check all the boxes for being in love. Really? What are they? One, you get butterflies in your tummy whenever they're around. Okay, yeah, I do have that. Two, you say super dumb things because you're so nervous around them. You don't want to say the wrong thing. Um, okay, yeah, I, I do that. And three, you can't stop thinking about him, can you? Well, um, uh, uh. Okay, yeah, no, I can't. See, Molly? You love Luke. Hey, that's enough of that. Don't tease me about it, okay? You can't help it if you love somebody. It just happens. So what do you think, Molly? Want to write him a love letter? <sighs> okay, let me go get some pen and paper from the kitchen. Okay, what should I say? How about Dear Luke? Well, duh, of course I'm going to say Dear Luke. All right, but Dear Luke. Now just tell him how you feel, Molly. I really, really, really like you. I think you're cute and smart and an awesome football player. And, um, uh, what should I say now? Say you want to go to the dance with him. Okay. And I want, I'm too afraid I can't tell him. Yes, you can, Molly. Tell him. And I want to go to the dance with you. Now, all you have to do is sign your name. Yeah, I'm not doing that. But Molly, he needs to know it's from you. No, I can't tell him it's from me. How about from like a secret admirer? All right, Molly, tell him you'd love your secret admirer. Love your secret admirer. Okay, well, now what? Uh, you can deliver this to him, right? Um, yeah, I guess I could. Tomorrow at school. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. What if he figures out it's me? Well, then hopefully he'll ask you to the dance. Where's my math homework? I actually did it, and, and it's not in my locker. Man, don't tell me I forgot it at home again. Hey, Molly, good morning. Oh, oh, hi, Luke. <laughs> I didn't see you there. I really like your cat unicorn shirt. It's adorable. Oh, um, thank you. Okay, I I've got to get to class. Bye. Bye, Molly. Why should keep running away from me? I thought we were best friends. Oh, look, there's Luke. Hey, Luke. Oh, hey, Brookie. What's up? Uh, yeah, um, your secret admirer wanted me to give you this letter. What? A, a secret admirer? Seriously? Who's it from? You must know. I'm sorry, Luke. I can't tell you, um, because they were wearing a mask and I couldn't see who it was. <laughs> yeah, that lie should work. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I'll open it. What does my secret admirer want? Maybe they think I'm super good at math and they want, like, me to help them study or something. Dear Luke, I like you. I really, really, really like you. And I want to go to the dance with you. Love your secret admirer. Oh, I know this handwriting. Whose handwriting is this? <gasps> it's, it's Daisy's. Oh my gosh. I never thought Daisy had a crush on me, but I mean, her pigtails are pretty cute and she wants to go to the dance with me. I mean... I am best friends with Molly, so I feel like I know her better, but Daisy's cute, and, uh, yeah. I'll go to the dance with her. I'll ask her as soon as I get into math class. Prookie, Prookie, did you give Luke the letter? Ah, uh, yeah, I totally did. Did he want to know who it was from? Of course he did, but I told him the person who gave it to me was wearing a costume, so I couldn't see. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. Yeah, but, um... <laughs> If he figures it out, he's probably going to ask you to the dance. Well, I hope so. I mean, I kind of hope so. I don't know. Well, I get really bad butterflies in my stomach. What are you guys talking about? Nothing. None of your beeswax. I'm going to study for this math test because I'm going to ace it. I just know it. Hey, Daisy. Good morning. Oh, hey, Luke. Sorry I'm a bit busy right now. It's okay. I just want to say that what you said was really nice. And I was wondering, um... Uh, would you, uh, like to go to the dance with me? Wait, what? Oh, um, uh, well, you're best friends with my sister, but, um, yeah, you guys are just friends, so. Pookie, Pookie, why is he asking Daisy to the dance? 
I have no idea. Oh my gosh, why is this happening? I'll go to the dance with you, sure. What? No, you can't go to the dance together. What? Why, Molly? What's going on? Um, you're going to have diarrhea that night. What? Mo Molly? Why are you saying that? That's embarrassing. Uh, because we're having bean burritos. Mom put it on the family menu. And bean burritos always give you that... Molly! Are you, why are you saying this? Oh my gosh, look, I'm so embarrassed. My sister's being so rude. Oh, uh, well, you know, all of us have gotten diarrhea before. It's not really fun. I'm not going to have diarrhea. I never get that, not even from bean burritos. She doesn't even know what she's talking about. Molly, why are you being crazy right now? Um, uh, uh, uh. So, Daisy, um, you know, about the letter. What? What letter? Oh, 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 yeah, the letter. What? She knows about the letter? Yeah, I wrote a letter to everyone in the class saying they really needed to try harder because um, we're not going to get our grades up as a school if... Huh? What? 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 No! That's... Oh, my gosh! Brookie, this is going terrible! Well, you're going to have to tell him that you're his secret admirer. No way! I'm glad you're my secret admirer, Daisy. What? I, I'm not your secret admirer. Wait, but you wrote me a letter saying that you really, really, really liked me and you wanted me to go to the dance with you? No, I didn't. But it looked like your handwriting. Oh my gosh, this is humiliating. Oh, I'm gee, I'm gonna go hide in the girls' bathroom. No, don't you want to see what happens next? Not really! Um, okay, well, I... I know you're shy about being my secret admirer, but there's no reason to be Daisy. Like, come on. We we totally can go to the dance together. I think you're really cute. What? You think my sister's cute? That makes me kind of angry and jealous. What? Why, why would you be jealous, Molly? Because she's the one that sent you the letter. Brookie! How could you? Oh, my gosh. Wait, what? You're my secret admirer? What? No, Brookie's just making that up. I'm not your secret admirer. I think she is. Me and Molly have pretty similar handwriting. Um, uh, Molly, um, I don't know what to say. Maybe you should say that you'll take her to the dance. But I already asked you, Daisy, and you said yes. So we're going to the dance. What? Ah! This is the worst day of my life! All right, I gotta go cry in the girls' bathroom. <laughs> Mrs. Harris sure did give me a lot of homework tonight. I think I've been working on it for like two hours. Uh, who knew high school was going to be this hard? I wouldn't have known it if you told me. Okay, let's see. I just have to write one more report and then I'm done. Do, 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 do. Ooh, my stomach is growling. I better go get a snack before I finish my homework. Do, 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 do. My name is Daisy, just like the flower. Hey, Mom, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just making a little snack. A snack? Ooh, I wish I could wait around for the deliciousness that you're making, but the truth is, I have too much homework. So I'm just going to eat a yogurt and then I'll get back to it. I'm so proud of you, Daisy. You're going to get great grades this year. I'm going to try, Mom. Daisy, what are you doing right now? Well, Molly, I just had a snack, and then unlike you, I'm going to be doing my homework. What? I did my homework? There's no way you did it that fast. Yeah, I'm just super, super smart. Girls, 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 I know you're sisters, and that means that you never want to get along, but trust me, you should try to get along. Wow, pancakes! Daisy, do you have time to eat some pancakes? No, but I have to get right back to my homework. Hey guys, uh, I was wondering if maybe you could help me with my math homework. Sure, I'll help you. Since I already finished mine. I wouldn't trust Molly. She probably doesn't know what she's doing. Daisy, that's not very nice. <laughs> now it's back to my homework again. 
Ah, let's see. This one has to be 3,000 words. 3,000 words? How am I gonna, how am I gonna finish all that by tomorrow morning? Guess I'm not watching the Boily Color Unicorn on TV tonight. Oh. Almost done, and I'm getting super tired. Now I have about five seconds to play a video game. Oh, what's a Boily Color Unicorn? Oh, what should it be? What should it be? Oh, what's a Boily Color Unicorn? The Boily Color Unicorn, the Boily Color Unicorn. Do, 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 do. Um, I better go to bed. It's eight fifty-nine. What are you doing, Daisy? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Marley, I'm about to go to bed. I have a big math test tomorrow. We have to make sure that I get a good grade. You're going to bed at nine o'clock? How lame! Marley, I have to get my sleep, or I won't get good grades. Uh huh. Sure, Daisy. Sure. Come on, Daisy. Let's watch the brightly colored unicorn for just like an hour. Okay, Marley, you talked me into it. Really? Yeah, I've been wanting to watch it for a while. Hopefully, you can still wake up in the morning. Oh, I totally will, Marley. I totally will. I'm responsible. The brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. Do, 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 do. Girls, are you still awake? It's almost 10 o'clock. Your bedtime is at 9.30. Yeah, but Mom, this is a new episode of the Brightly Colored Unicorn that we have to see. Yeah, Mom, they go to Unicorn Land. Okay, I guess you can watch for another ten minutes. What's that smell? Molly, did you take a bath before bed? Uh, well, uh, ew. Molly, make sure you take a quick bath before you go to sleep. You're stinky. Okay, fine. The Brightly Colored Unicorn, the Brightly Colored Unicorn. Oh my gosh, that was the best episode ever. Hey guys, uh, I still don't understand that math problem. Oh my goodness, you need to go home, it's 10 o'clock at night. Jeez, your mom's gonna wonder where you are. Good night, Daisy. Good night, Molly. <sighs> I'm all clean and ready to go to bed. Now I just have to turn off the light. Daisy! Daisy! Oh my gosh! It's about to be school and 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 you're late and, and you're gonna miss school and, and you're gonna get an F on your test! What? What? Oh, oh, oh my gosh, I can't believe I overslept! You better hurry up and, and don't even worry about eating breakfast. I'll meet you outside. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I overslept. How did I do this? Oh, this is going to be the worst day ever. Okay. Oh, I feel so tired still. I guess I guess staying up until 10 p.m. to watch a brightly colored unicorn was a super bad idea. I knew it was going to be. Okay, I'll clean. I'll clean. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta brush my teeth. I can't forget to do that. Can't have stinky teeth for school. <laughs> push it, push it, push it, push it, push it, push push it, push it, push it, push it, push it, push Okay, now where did I leave my homework? Ah, I don't know where my homework is and I need it. Okay, Daisy, don't freak out. It's right over there. Oh, that's a giant pile of homework. Hee <laughs> hee. Better grab a quick breakfast. Just in case. Um, yeah. I gotta have a good breakfast. Because I can't go to school without it. I better just keep going because I don't want to be late right now. Even though I think I'm going to be. Hey, wait a minute. Where's the sun? Uh. Must be it's just gonna be no sun today. Super rainy in Texas lately. Do 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 Wait a minute! The school bus isn't here yet, is it, Molly? Uh nope, no school bus here. Okay, good, I didn't miss it. Hey, wait a minute. Why are there stars in the sky? 
Ah, uh, the sun forgot to come up. <laughs> uh, Molly, what are you talking about? It's midnight. Uh, no, it's not. It's it's almost 8 a.m. And my sister's going to be late for school. Ugh, Ma, Molly's totally pranking you, Daisy. What? What are you talking about? Ugh, I'm so tired. Uh, she's not talking about anything, Daisy. Definitely not. Nope, nope, nope. Yes, she is. Basically, she's saying it's time for school, but it's only midnight. You don't have to get up for school for another, like, seven hours. What? Molly! Why did you tell me that it was time for school and I was late? Because <laughs> it's hilarious. Molly! Oh, my gosh. Wait till I come in your room. Molly, open this door right now. Molly, seriously. Molly, knock, knock. Okay, now I have to trick my sister since he opens the door. <clears throat> Excuse me, special delivery for Molly? I have four pounds of delicious chocolates. Um, should I just give them to your sister? <laughs> ah ha ha ha! Molly! You tricked me! And you got me out of bed at midnight. I'm telling Mom! Daisy, no, don't tell her, okay? Uh, I'll give you I'll give you an entire chocolate bar. Ay, ay, ay. Having you as a sister is it's just terrible sometimes. Don't say that, Daisy. I think you love me more than anything in the whole universe. Ah, uh, whatever, Molly. I'm going back to bed. Daisy, don't forget you have to get up for su for school soon. Aha, uh -huh, sure, Molly. So sure I do. Daisy! Daisy! Daisy, 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 wake up, wake up! What, what's good, God, Molly? What's good, God? It's time for school, come on, get up! Okay, Molly, okay. Hey, wait a minute, why is it still dark out? And the stars are in the sky! <laughs> you fell for it again! <laughs> Molly, I'm gonna get you! I swear I'm gonna get you, Molly! Was it just me, or was that just like the longest school day ever? I couldn't agree more, Molly. I felt like we just took test after test. Yeah, I know what you guys mean. Oh, I can't wait to get outside and get some fresh air. Me too. Let's walk home instead of taking the bus, guys. Sounds good to me. And me too. Whoa, do you guys see that? It's it's a bunch of money on the ground. Holy guacamole. Well, you know what I always say. Finders, keepers, losers, weepers. <laughs> You're rich, Brookie. You can buy us each like 20 ice creams. You know, if you want to buy us 20 ice creams. I think I'd love to buy you 20 ice creams, but I think there's a lot more money here than even that. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't keep that money. Why not? She found it. Finders keepers, losers weepers. Because, Molly, someone's missing that money. We have to take that to the police station right away. Well, I mean, Molly's kind of right. I did find it, Daisy. Yeah, Daisy, but being such a goody two-shoes. She found it on the ground. You know, the person who lost it. Oh, well, so sad, too bad. Molly, can you imagine what kind of life of crime this will lead Brookie down? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. A life of crime? Are you serious? Yeah, I could just see it now. Oh, man. I parked my sports car wrong. Oh, well, I have lots of money. I'll just buy a new one. <laughs> oh, well, someone should come tow this one, though, because it can't stay up on my deck forever. Look at my house. It's amazing. It's so good to be rich. I'm so glad I kept that bag of money I found in Brookhaven. Hmm, I wonder who could be at my door right now. Oh, it's probably a pizza. <laughs> I love pizza. Come on in. Hello, are you Brookie Cookie? Um, yeah, that's me. I'm here to serve you an eviction notice. What? What's an eviction notice? It means you have to vacate this property because you haven't paid your taxes. What? I have to pay taxes? 
They're $10,000 a year. $10,000 a year? Are you crazy? This expensive mansion costs a lot in taxes, and you haven't paid it. So I'm here to give you this eviction paperwork. The county will now own your house. Oh my gosh! This is horrible news! Well, have a great day. Sorry to deliver such horrible news to you. It's my job. Oh man, I, I can't get out of this house. Where, where's the door? It's right here. Okay, well have a good day. Yeah, thanks. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna lose my luxury lifestyle because I've run out of money. Oh! Wait a minute. I know what I can do. <laughs> I'll just, well, um, steal, I mean, find some more money. How hard could it be to get that much money again? I mean, I found it on the street once, so I'm pretty sure I can just find some more. <laughs> Even if I have to steal it. Well, this is where I found all that money before. Maybe there's still some here. What? There's no money here? What? Well, I heard that saying that money grows on trees. I think that's what it is. I don't know. Let me go check some trees. Maybe I'll find some money there. What? This tree doesn't have any money. And neither do any of the others. Maybe I just need to cut this tree down. There's probably some money at the top of it. Or maybe the saying was, money doesn't grow on trees. Ah, oh, well, I guess I'll have no choice but to go to the bank. I need to get some money out of the bank for groceries. I'm super hungry. Brookie, is that you? Who are you? Why are you talking to me, loser? You mean, you mean you don't, you don't recognize me? I was your best friend for so many years during school. Well, until you got all that money and you moved outside Brookhaven and never wanted to talk to me anymore. Uh huh, yeah, um, I'm about to have some money coming out of the ATM, so I'm kind of busy right now. Whoa, it looks like you smashed it. Me? I didn't smash it. You smashed it. Just want to tell you that the police are on their way. I can't believe you broke into Brookhaven Bank and stole all that money, Molly. What? It wasn't me. You're trying to frame me. See you later, stinker. <laughs> Brookie, you've changed so much. That can't be the the Brookie that was my best friend. It can't be. <laughs> oh no, it's it's Daisy Cop. Oh why, you robbed the bank. Wait a minute, my sister robbed the bank. Um, uh, no. It wasn't me. Sure looks like you. I swear it. <laughs> it wasn't me. Well, you're the only one in the bank and the alarm went off and all the money's gone. So who else could it be? Seriously, you're going to frame your own sister? Frame? I didn't frame you. I'm just arresting you. Look, I don't have the money. If I stole it, would I be standing here still? Probably not. Duh. Daisy, you're not a very good police officer. Why don't you become a scientist? Just didn't work out for me, okay? Fighting the life of crime like my dad did? That's a better life. Now you have the way to remain silent. Hey, I, I didn't do it! It was Brookie! What? Seriously? Yeah, she ran out of money. She came in here, used an axe, and framed me. You can check! I don't have any money! Oh my gosh. Let me put an APPI for a BCC. That's a bookie cookie. Oh man, I can't believe she turned into such a thief. I know. She's a criminal now. It's really quite sad. So, we meet again, Brookie. Yeah, we meet again. Only you're free and I'm not. Oh, well, Daisy warned you that you'd live a life of crime if you took that bag of money that didn't belong to you. Well, I guess I didn't believe her. And now I'm stuck in prison for my whole life. Yeah, you do the crime, you do the time. <laughs> Did you just fart? Right where I can't escape? Uh, sorry, like I said, you do the crime, you do the time. Well, smelling your stinkiness? Oh, this is the worst life ever! See, I told you, Brookie Cookie, you definitely do not want to live the life of crime, do you? Well, um, yeah, that seemed pretty scary. I cannot believe this! What, Molly, you agree now? No, I just think you've sold her a line of goods. And you know what? Uh, I, don't, I don't think that it's going to be that bad. I don't think she'd actually be a criminal. How do you know, though, Molly? 
How do you know? And that's the bottom line. You should never take something that's not yours. It could lead you down a path to destruction. Yeah, I don't need this money that bad. But I need an ice cream that bad. Well, I still have some of my allowance. I could buy you an ice cream. Really? You do that for me? That's so sweet. Yeah, it's better than being a criminal, right? Yeah, because you were really mean to me as the criminal in Daisy's like little nightmare there. Well, criminals aren't very nice. It's just how it goes. Now, come on. Let's take that bag of money back to the police station and we can see if we can come up with enough money to share an ice cream. Hello? What can I do for you two girls? Um, hi. I found this bag of money on the street and, well, I'm returning it. Oh, my gosh. Taylor Swift just called about that. She was coming through because she has a concert here in Brookhaven tonight. She said if anybody returned her bag of money, they could each have $1,000 and free tickets to her show tonight. What? Yep, that's right. It's all right here. The tickets and everything. And we can count out $1,000 for you. Oh my gosh. I guess being honest really does pay off. Holy guacamole! We can get like a million ice creams for that money! And we're going to see Taylor Swift tonight! Ha 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 ha! Okay, Daisy, I have to admit, you were right this time. Whoa, can't believe it. My sister actually admitted I'm right. But only this one time! Ha 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 ha! School day took forever to get over, and all I want to do is like sit on my couch and eat snacks all night long. <gasps> There's my mom! Mom! Mom, it's me! Molly, watch out! I'm gonna hit you! Oh my gosh, Molly. Remember, safety, always look first. Sorry, Mom, I'm just so excited to get into the car because I just want to go home. Let's go home! Well, we can't go home yet. We have to go get baby Kira. What? No! I don't want to stop in there! Oh, come on, Molly. <laughs> It'll only take me a minute. It's a minute that I'm not sitting on the couch eating snacks! Oh, sweet girl. Are you so sleepy? I got sleep all afternoon. Whoa, she never takes naps. There's probably something wrong with her. Um, did your brain explode from learning all your ABCs and one, two, threes? No, I just feel very tired. Um, so did your sister say when she was coming home, Molly? Now she just said she's staying in the library at school and studying because she has a huge science test tomorrow and she's not getting anything less than 100. Okay, well, I guess she'll be home soon enough, hopefully in time for dinner. I'm going inside. I have a spot reserved for me on the couch with some snacks. Hey, Dad. Oh, hey, Molly. Hmm, this leftover pizza's delicious. Got any left for me? Of course I do, Molly. <laughs> um, so how was your day at school? It was great. Oh, no, you don't, Molly. No eating pizza before dinner. You'll, you'll not be hungry at all. But Dad's eating pizza. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Honey, I can see you eating the pizza. Okay, yeah, I was really hungry. I had to chase a lot of bad guys at work today. Mom, yeah, he uses a lot of energy being a cop. <laughs> and then he refuels with donuts and more donuts and, um, some donuts. I, I don't feel good. Why are you running around all over the carpet like that? Because my tummy hurts. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Baby Kira, oh my gosh. Are you okay? No. My tummy hurts. You're probably just hungry. Dinner will be soon. Here, I'll turn on the TV. You can just chill. Um, You know, I know what you mean because like, whether you go to like preschool or whether you go to regular school, it just, it's a lot on your brain. You probably are just tired and hungry. All right, um, what are we gonna watch? Um, ooh, Family Life is on. This is a new episode. Come on, baby Kira, let's watch it. I still don't feel good. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on out here? Oh, baby Kira, what's wrong, honey? She said she has a stomach ache. She's probably just really hungry. It's been a while since snack time. I'm not hungry. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Um, okay, Molly, go get the, go get the puke bucket. Why me? Because, Molly, somebody has to get it. Where do we leave it? Oh, wait, I think it's upstairs. Found the bucket. Oh, this is gonna be so gross. I bet baby Kira caught the stomach bug or something. Ew. Molly, hurry up. She's about to throw up. 
Here you go. Here you go. Okay, I'm not holding the bucket. That's just that, that's asking too much. Oh, baby Kira, do you feel better now? Uh, yeah, I do, babe. Oh, maybe she just ate something wrong. It's okay, baby Kira. Here, come on, lay on the couch and you'll feel all better. La 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 la. Dad, why are you still eating all that pizza? Oh, that's super good. <laughs> Honey, baby Kira just threw up. What? Poor baby. Yeah, will you go sit with her while I make dinner? Of course I will. Poor sweet little thing. You might not want to want um want to eat that pizza around her because it'll probably make her pukey puke puke puke. Ah, uh, Molly, do you want to help me get stuff ready for dinner? Sure, mom. Uh, it's not like I wanted to relax after school or anything. Come on, Molly. We all have to pitch in. Okay, but then seriously, can I just like lay on the couch because I'm so tired. My brain hurts from the math test today. Sure, Molly. No problem. Mom, can I have a soda? No, Molly. It's almost dinner. Can I have a Hershey's bar? No, Molly. It's almost dinner. Mom, can I have a Reese's cup? Molly, it's almost dinner. I feel so good, Dad. I got full up. Uh-oh. Sounds like she's going to have another throw-up session. Oh, ew. Um. Honey, don't eat that pizza around her. It's probably making her nauseous. Honey, I think baby Kira definitely has a stomach bug. Oh my gosh, I do not want the stomach bug. It is the worst ever. I have to agree, Molly. And the germs are just like, they're like super powered. You can clean your whole house and you can still get the stomach bug like two weeks later. I'm moving out. Um, Molly, you live here. You can't move out. Poor girl. Everything's going to be okay, baby Kira. I don't think so. I, I don't feel good. Hello? Hey, Molly, what's up? Uh, kind of busy right now. Yeah, okay, whatever. Can you tell Mom I'll be home in a few minutes? And also, I want to know what's for dinner. Daisy, I just want to warn you, you probably don't want to come home. Like, ever. Yeah, you say that every time, Molly. Just so you know, I live there too when I'm coming home. No, you don't understand. This time, I really mean it. What are you talking about, Molly? Baby Kira, she's, she's got the stomach bug. Um, tell Mom I'm spending the night at Pookie's. <laughs> That's what I thought. Unfortunately, I've already been infected. Den, den, den! Well, I may be infected, but definitely been around the germs. So, um, good luck, Daisy, and um, have a nice night. You're the one that needs luck, Molly. Luck you're not sticking your head in a bucket and puking in about two hours. Bye! Bye. Uh, I think maybe we should take baby Kira to the hospital. She just keeps throwing up and can't stop. Well, you're the mom. You know what's best. Oh, I don't feel so good. Oh my gosh, honey. Did you come down with the stomach bug so quickly? Oh my gosh. Dad, say something. Are you alive? Must go to hospital. Okay, mom, you better get the car. I'll go get baby Kira. Thanks, Molly. I knew I could depend on you to help out. Baby Kira, come on. I'm taking you to the hospital. Uh, oh, why go to the hospital? You have to, baby Kira. You have to. Come on. Oh, why do I flee? They're going to make you feel all better. Come on. Okay, Molly, will you stay with me? Of course I will. And, um, well, here's the thing. Dad also caught the stomach bug. I'll think it's a stomach bug. You don't think it's a stomach bug? No, trust me. I've had plenty of them. They are awful, and you definitely have the stomach bug. <laughs> Come on, Molly. Hurry up before your dad throws up again. Okay, baby, here I get it. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to drop you on the ground. Oopsie. You sit in the back with dad in your car seat because you're infected. I don't feel so good. Okay, well, I put a barf bag in the back for both of you. So, um, basically, just try to throw up in that, okay? Mom, hurry! We need to get them to the hospital and get them some medicine. Stat! I'm going as fast as I can, Molly. I don't want to get a ticket. It'd be worth it. <laughs> if they threw up in your car, you'd be really sad. Wow, the hospital's so packed tonight. Everybody's in here and sick. Hi, I'm Dr. Sullivan. Oh, help me! Oh my gosh, you look awful. Tell me about it. Okay, what are your symptoms? 
Stomach pain, throwing up, poo poos. <laughs> and and uh, I, don't, I don't feel very good. I feel like weak and tired, and I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to die. Okay, well, I don't think you're dying, um, but I am going to need to do some blood work. What? No, I'm afraid of needles. Sorry, but it's necessary to see what's going on. Now this will just hurt a little tiny bit. Ha! Why do you have an axe? Oh, whoops. <laughs> That's for my surgery. <laughs> Wrong equipment. Okay, let's just take a little bit of blood, okay? Oh my gosh. I hope I don't pass out. Wow, you really are afraid of needles. Oh, that hurt! All right, I got enough. Now I just gotta go test it. Be right back. I'll put this through to the lab, and then I'll go check on the next patient. <laughs> okay... Male, he definitely has some sort of stomach issue. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, perfect. Oh, sweet little baby, are you feeling sick? I, I feel sick, and also my dad is next door, and he's sick too. Oh, both of you are sick. I bet it's the stomach flu. Yeah, I would bet money it's the stomach flu. Oop, test results are up. Oh my gosh. I would have never seen this coming. Oh, I thought it was a stomach bug, but no. No, it's much worse. Much, much worse. Excuse me, Mr. Acker? Can you make me feel better? I thought you had the stomach bug, but I was wrong, sir. What, am I dying? Oh my God, am I dying? No, it appears you have food poisoning. What have you eaten in the last 10 hours? Pizza. Oh, I can't even think about the pizza. Did your daughter next door eat the pizza too? Yeah, she had it for lunch at, at preschool. I packed her lunch myself. Well, you both have food poisoning. I'm gonna go get you both some medicine and you should feel a lot better soon. Okay, where's those nausea pills? Scratching, diarrhea. Ooh, that might be a good one too. Perfect. This should help my patients a whole lot. Here we go, Mr. Acker. Just go ahead and take these pills, and you're going to feel right as rain. Well, probably tomorrow, but... Are you going to make my daughter feel better, too? Yeah, but I'm going to give her a shot, unfortunately, because she's too little to swallow pills. Oh, no. Poor baby. Where's my wife? Um, I don't know. I haven't seen her in a while. I'm so sorry, baby Kira. There was nowhere to park. I don't care, Mom. I just got you here now. Oh, you must be Mrs. Acker. Yes, what's going on? What are those pills for? I'm so worried about my, my daughter and my husband. Well, these pills are because both of them have food poisoning. Food poisoning? Yep, it looks like from pizza. Oh my gosh. I told Dan that pizza was old and throw it out. He never listens to me about that. I'm, unfortunately, I have to give your daughter the medicine in a shot, though. What? Yeah, I'm fine. No, baby Kira, I'm really good at giving shots. I promise you'll hardly feel it. Just a quick little pinch. You can't swallow pills, so I have to give this to you, okay? All right, here we go. One, two, and three. Ow! Oh! See? And the pinch is over already. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. Can I take them home now, doctor? You sure can. I expect both of them to start feeling better within a few hours. If they don't, give me a call and we can admit you in. Thank you so much, Dr. Sullivan. You're amazing. No problem. Have a good night. I'm on to my next patient. Can we go home? Oh, I'm so tired. I just want to go to bed. Yeah, as soon as I find Molly. Molly, what are you doing? Um, I found the vending machine and decided I wanted to buy everything. <laughs> oh, don't mention food. I'm gonna throw up. Whoopsie. <laughs>
any longer. Send ice cream. Molly, you're being so dramatic right now. Whoa, Molly, are you okay? What happened? Uh, she wants to eat ice cream for dinner. I'll do CPR. Dad, no, no. You need to send ice cream. I don't need CPR. You look like you might need CPR. Are you dying? Yeah, I'm totally dying without ice cream. It's not fair. I can't eat what I want. Why can't I make my own decisions? Because, Molly, you'd make bad ones. That's why you're a kid and I'm a grown-up. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at these adorable dogs. I love this. Dad, um, I can't do my homework. What? Why not? Um, Daisy's watching dog videos on the internet, and um, I need to use the computer for my homework, so guess I don't have to do it tonight. Molly, pff, whatever. You still have to do your homework. Ask Daisy nicely to get off the computer. I'm already off of it, Molly. It's all yours. Nah, I'm just going to skip it. Molly, no, you're not. The answer's no. Go do your homework. Ugh, the answer is always no, it seems. Ay, ay, ay. Something's wrong with the computer. Molly, you just have to learn how to use it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that funny dog. It's smiling. <laughs> Molly, do your homework already. Family, dinner's ready. Ah, huh, fine. I don't know why we can't eat chocolate ice cream instead. Because, Molly, you can't eat chocolate ice cream for dinner. Can I when we're on vacation? No. But, but it's vacation! Well, who cares? Right now it's not vacation, so just eat the cheeseburger I made you, please. It's delicious. I made it out of a veggie patty. What? <laughs> Ew, vegetables? No way! I love Mom's veggie patties. You would, Daisy. You would. Well, Molly is still eating it. Of course I am. I'm starving. What else is there to eat around here? Molly, could you stop yelling? You're so loud. Yeah, Molly, why don't you take it down just a notch? Ooh, I want to have ice cream for dinner. What? That, oh, 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 that, that's, that's not fair. Actually, it's very fair. <laughs> I'm a grown-up, so I can eat what I want. Dear, we're supposed to be setting a good example. Yeah, set a good example, Dad. Eat a veggie burger instead. Not a chance. I don't like those. They're gross. Hey, I worked hard on this dinner. Okay, bye. I'm going to watch TV. Uh, if only I could live a life like my dad. Mom, mom, mom. Yes, girls. Oh, it's getting very late. You should get to bed. No, actually, mom, now that we're done with dinner, I was wondering, can we go swimming in the pool? What? N no, it's almost midnight. You can't go swimming in the pool at midnight on a school night. <laughs> Molly, you're asking such crazy questions. What's wrong with you? Daisy, can I see you in the other room, please? What is it, Molly? OMG! Our parents say no to everything! Yeah, you do have a point there, Molly, but that's because you have crazy questions or crazy requests. But they're still my requests! Why do they have to say no to everything? Can they just say yes to one thing? Either ice cream for dinner or no homework or swimming at midnight? No, we can't say yes to anything, Molly. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. Mom, Dad, Daisy and I have decided something. We did? Wait a minute. I didn't know I was a part of this decision. What are we telling them? Wait, I don't want to get in trouble. It was all Molly's fault. Okay, girls, what is it? You guys say no to everything. Well, that's not true. We don't say no to you doing your homework, eating healthy. Exactly. Anything that's fun is off limits. I propose that we have one day that's a yes day. Hmm. I don't know, Dan. That doesn't sound like such a bad idea. Whoa, Molly. You kind of had a good idea for once. I know, right? Tomorrow, um, our parents can only say yes. Do you guys agree? Well, as long as it's nothing dangerous. What do you say, Dan? Oh, I don't see why we couldn't do that. All right, tomorrow is a yes day. Okay, well, it's already tomorrow because <laughs> it's almost 2 a.m. What? Go to bed. Tomorrow's school. <laughs> um, no. Tomorrow, I'm not going to school, okay? Oh, all right. Yes, you can stay home. Ha <laughs> ha! Skip day, skip day, skip day. And also, I'd like to stay up late. It's already late. Go to bed, Molly. Okay, I'll give you that. It is pretty late. But tomorrow, as soon as I wake up, <laughs> everything is a yes.
Good morning, parents! Good morning, Molly. You're up pretty early for staying up so late. I'm so excited about today. I don't want the next 24 hours to pass me by while I'm sleeping. Wow, maybe every day we should say yes and get you out of bed on time. Yeah, well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mountain of waffles with chocolate ice cream on top. Whoa, <laughs> that sounds super unhealthy, Molly. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Yeah, doesn't matter if it's unhealthy. I get to eat it because today is a yes day. So can I have chocolate on top of my waffles? Mm, uh, uh. Okay, yes you can. Ha ha ha! Daisy, you want chocolate on top of your waffle? Absolutely, Molly. I'm still kind of tired. I could use an energy boost. Uh, Daisy, there's no laying on the counter. It's a yes day. You have to say yes and I want to lay on the counter. Okay, yes, I guess you can. Mm. Okay, now I gotta get the waffle. Okay, let's see. I've got the ice cream. Just a little bit of waffle. Mm hmm. So delicious. Waffle, chocolate. Waffle, chocolate. Waffle, chocolate. Waffle, chocolate. Waffle, chocolate. Ugh, I ate too much. <laughs> I'm stuffed. What do we got to drink? Ooh, Loxie, delicious. Molly, don't forget to shut the refrigerator door. I don't have to. It's not my day to do it. Molly. Uh, Mom, I think you should su shut the refrigerator door. Ugh, Molly, really? Okay, I'll do it since it's a yes day. Daisy, are you ever going to wake up? We have important things to do. Come on, I want to ask you something. Okay, Molly, what is it? Well, so far we've had waffles with ice cream, but maybe we should ask for something bigger. Like what, Molly? Like, what if we borrow Mom's car? What? She's never going to let us do that. She has to. It's a yes day. Oh, Mom! What is it now, Molly? I'm kind of afraid to ask. Can we um, borrow your car? What? No way. Are you crazy? Uh, Mom, don't forget. It's a yes day. Oh, all right. But be careful, okay? We will. Come on, Daisy. <laughs> I'm going to ride in mom's car. I'm going to ride in mom's car. It's going to be super amazing. Ooh, it's beautiful. Mom's car is so amazing. Yeah, except for she has to get that license plate changed. It still says gaming with Dan on it. Yeah, it's totally not dad's though. It's mom's. He never drives it. Molly, it appears to me that you've never driven at all. Okay, I've never driven this car. I'm having a little bit of trouble with it. Ugh, ugh. Okay, I'm on the road. I'm good. Molly, watch out for that bush. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we got to go over the bridge. Yeah, don't go down into the grass. Let's play some awesome music. P I G G Y. Piggy is after me. P I G G Y. Okay, won't you set me free? Molly, you're all over the road. Turn down the music. You're not paying attention. I'm totally paying attention. Molly, you just took out that sign. Molly, what are you doing? Whoa! 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 Oh my god, Daisy, I just put mom's car in the pool. OMG, Molly, get out, get out. Daisy, I can't. My door is stuck. Ah! Daisy, I'm going down with the fishes. Molly, there's no fishes in the pool. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be the only fish and I can't breathe underwater. Molly, just hang tight. I'll get out an axe. You just carry an axe around? Yeah, for emergencies, of course. Okay, step back, Molly. I don't know about this, Daisy. Molly, what's your alternative? Going to the bottom of the pool forever? Wait, I'm out! Daisy, you did it! Oh my gosh. Molly, how are we going to tell Mom about our car? Um, well, we could just, like... Tell her that, uh... Uh, how can I word it so that she has to say yes that this is okay? Hmm, let me think about this. We could say to her, um... Mom, you're totally fine with us crashing your Jeep into the pot, the pool, right? And she'll have to say yes. That's genius! Mom, you have to be okay with us driving your Jeep into the pot. I keep saying pond! Me too, Marty. <laughs> it's pool. Let's practice again. Mom, you're totally cool with me driving your Jeep into the pool, right? Yes, I'm totally cool with it. Ah, 
This should be fine. Let's go home. Molly, uh, I'm a little nervous. She's going to freak out. I don't think so. I mean, she has to say yes. It's still the yes day. Oh, boy. This might not go as planned. Hey, where's your mom's Jeep? I was going to take that to go over to the grocery store. Oh, uh, mom let us borrow it. Oh, she did? Wait, what? She did? Yeah, she had to say yes, remember? Because it's yes day. Oh, boy. I can't believe she let you drive her prized Jeep. She sure did. Okay, well, bye. Well, wait a minute. You guys are here and the Jeep's not. Where, where is it? Uh, see you later, Dad. Oh, boy. That didn't go so good with Dad, Molly. How do you think it's going to go with Mom? I have no idea, but we're about to find out. Oh, hey, girls. How was your drive in my Jeep? Uh, it was amazing, Mom. Yeah, totally, except for the end. What do you mean, except for the end? <laughs> I didn't hear you girls pull in. Where, where's the car? Um, uh, Molly, remember what we practiced? Oh, yeah. You're totally okay that I drove your Jeep into the pool, right? What? You what? Oh, my gosh, you drove my... Uh, wait a minute. You, you're kidding, right? <laughs> you're kidding right now, right? <laughs> you're just teasing me, right? You're pranking me? No, Mom, it's a yes day, so you have to be fine that we drove your Jeep into the pool. Wait, you really did drive my Jeep into the pool? Uh, yes? Oh, I don't like yes day anymore. Well, Mom, I can see that you want to take a nap in the kitchen right now, so I know you're really tired from doing the dishes all the time and stuff. Could I have a thousand dollars? What? She's gone insane, Daisy! Well, in her defense, yes day hasn't gone so well for her. Does that mean I can have a thousand dollars? I guess that means yes, since it's a yes day. Thanks, Mom! I got all the cash money! I got all the cash money! Molly, what are you gonna do with that much money anyway? Um, duh! I'm gonna go to the ice cream store and I'm gonna buy all the ice cream in the world! What? Seriously? <laughs> Don't worry, Mom! I'll bring you back a mint chocolate chip. I know it's your favorite. Okay, sorry. I'm just gonna step over you. Sorry. Uh, yeah, we might be able to get your Jeep out of the pool later. But first, we're going to go to the ice cream shop. Whoa, <laughs> there's Mom's Jeep. Oh, well, it was a nice Jeep while we knew it. Molly, she's not going to be happy tomorrow when that um Jeep isn't out of the pool yet. Well, if she wants it out of the pool, then she needs to work on getting it out of there. Oh, boy. Yeah, good thing it's a yes day because we'd be grounded otherwise. Wait, why isn't anybody here? I don't know, Molly. Maybe they'll want their afternoon break. Okay, well, I'm just going to leave the money right here. I'm going to take all the ice cream. Seriously, Molly? Yep, pretty much. I'm going to start with some bubble gum. Mm. So good. Then I'm going to have some birthday cake. Mm. So good. Then I'm going to have some mint chocolate chip. Super delicious. Oh, I forgot about the vanilla. Molly, you're going to get a stomach ache. No, I'm not. I dare you. I can eat more ice cream than you. We'll have to see about that one, Molly. Ooh, chocolate. Mm. Mm. So good. Molly, did you eat a thousand dollars worth yet? Not even close. Molly, why did we eat all that ice cream? Oh! I know. I'm definitely gonna throw up. Definitely. Uh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Where's their bathroom? Molly, I don't think there is a bathroom. What? No! Ah! Molly, maybe this yes day wasn't such a good idea. What? Don't talk like that, Daisy! Well, I mean, we drove the Jeep into the pool. We ate too much ice cream. Maybe our parents knew what was good for us all along. What? I'll never, I'll never surrender to that idea. Ever! Molly, I think I'm going to be sick. Ah! Ah, me too. Ah! So much ice cream! Molly, get off of me! Why your leg on me? Sorry, I just, I was trying to get to the bathroom so I could bleh. Ew, Molly, gross! I don't want any more yes days. Never again! I don't know what you're talking about, Daisy. I'm gonna have a yes day again tomorrow. Well, you can do it alone, Molly. 
This is just crazy! Babies are crying. Yeah, Marley, it's what babies do cry. Look at this new one. She's so cute. Aww. Why do we have to be in here with these little babies? Because, Marley, we're little kids and and we have to be in the adoption center. But all that they ever adopt are the babies. They never adopt us. I know, Marley, but we have to keep trying. We can't give up hope. <laughs> Okay, but do you have something that I can plug my ears with? Why, Marley? Because all I hear all day is wah, wah, wah. These babies sure do cry a lot. Don't worry, Marley. I'm sure they'll all be adopted soon enough. And then we'll be left here in the quiet all by ourselves. Hello? Where's the adoption center? Oh, oh, here it is. Oop, look, Marley. We got a fresh one. <laughs> yeah, well, don't get your hopes up because she's probably going to adopt the cute little baby. Oh, look at the cute little babies. See? Told ya. Hi, over here, I'm Daisy. Hey, over here, I'm Molly. Oh, hi. Hi, I'm Molly. And I'm Daisy. And we know you're not going to adopt us, but we still want to say hi to you because we're super awesome. Daisy, that's not going to make her adopt us. Well, I'm just being myself. She doesn't want to adopt me the way I am, but then she doesn't want to adopt me. Daisy, no one ever wants to adopt us. We're just totally unwanted. Oh my gosh, I think you guys are adorable. Are you sisters? Yeah, we're sisters. She's not my sister. I don't know who she is. Daisy! <laughs> just kidding. Aw, you guys have a great sense of humor. I think you're so cute. I totally want to adopt you. Wait, what? Don't you want one of these crying babies? <coughs> no, not really. I think you girls are pretty awesome. Well, maybe you just want to adopt my sister. I mean, she's super adorable. Yeah, maybe you want to adopt her and not me. Nope, I pretty much want to adopt both of you. Really? You want to be our mom? Yeah, sure I do. OMG! We got a mom. We got a mom. Hello? Uh, where are the two toddlers? Oh, they're right over here. I'm going to adopt them. Uh, no, I don't think so. Wait, what? What, what are you talking about? I've already adopted them. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I didn't know we were adopted. Me either. Must be she called about us and we didn't know it. I don't know, Molly. She seems kind of, well, evil. Well, she does have the same hair color, hair color as you. I mean, that can't all be bad, right? Who cares about a hair color, Molly? She seems crazy. I have the paperwork right here. Oh, um, well, I guess it's official then. I'm so sorry, Molly and Daisy. I, I wanted to adopt you, but it looks like Karen here is going to be taking you home. <laughs> I'm really, really sad about it. Bye. What? No. Mom! That's not your mom. You can start calling me mom. Why are all these annoying babies crying? Oh, Daisy. This is not good. This is not good at all. Well, come on then. Molly and Daisy, I'm your mom. You have to come with me and you have to do what I say. Uh, okay. Uh... Get in. Uh, but I don't want to get pushed in the car. Oh, I am not a baby. Well, I don't have my car. It's in the shop. So we're going to have to walk home like this. Um, okay. I could kind of make this fun. Whee! No fun. No smiles. No laughing ever. Daisy, uh, I don't know about this. Be quiet. I'm trying to get my workout in. Um, okay. Whoa, she takes her workouts pretty seriously. <laughs> huh, you guys are so big, you're making it harder for me. Wait, what? Why are we staying in a hotel? I don't have a house, duh. What? We don't even get a house? Like, we got adopted and we we have to we have to stay here? Yeah, this should be good enough. Wow, this is actually a pretty nice motel room, but does it have a bathroom? Okay, it has a bathroom, but does it have a kitchen? No. We'll eat takeout. 
Oh. That's not healthy. I don't eat takeout. Well, you do now because I'm the mom and what I say goes. Uh, okay. Um, well, at least we have a bed. No, that's my bed. You can sleep over there on the table or the couch. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, this is horrible, Daisy. Well, Molly, at least we have a mom now. Yeah, an evil one. Uh, excuse me, be quiet. It's time for bed. We didn't have dinner yet. Uh, you can have dinner tomorrow night. What? Didn't they feed you at the orphanage? Um, we only had a snack. Snack's good enough. I'll get you breakfast in the morning. Now be quiet. It's time for bed. Uh, okay. Daisy, this lady is crazy. We have to get out of here and find our real mom. She is our real mom. She has the paperwork and everything. I don't want this lady to be my mom. Don't be my mom! Are you still talking? Go to sleep. Okay, Karen. You can call me mom. Yeah, okay, Karen. Molly, I think I could use the computer and try to get us out of you. I could maybe find somebody else to, 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 um, to adopt us. Yeah, maybe that nice lady who is our mom. Yeah, maybe, Molly. Oh, she's got a password protected. Daisy, there's no choice. We just have to run away. <laughs> Look at that. It's looking funny. Molly, shh. You're going to get us caught. Now, come on. I think I found her address. Really? Wow. You're good at hacking into computers. Let's go, Molly. <laughs> no worries. Karen is sound asleep. <laughs> I didn't get to eat dinner. I'm so hungry. Okay, according to this, we have to go this way. Here it is. Time to go find my real mom. Knock, knock. Hello? Who could be at the door at this hour? Mm, I hope it's not a burglar. Daisy, I was wondering when you were going to get here. Sorry, you were running really fast. Girls? What are you doing here? You can't let that evil Karen adopt us. Wait, what? The ink's not even dry on the adoption papers. You can erase it. You could. She's evil. She didn't feed us dinner. She's making us live in a hotel. She doesn't have a bed for us. She makes us sleep on the couch or the table. Whoa. She sounds evil for sure. I stole the adoption papers. Here. I'll erase them and write your name on them. Oh, I don't know about that, girls. She's evil. You have to. Please, Mom. Please. You were meant to be our mom. Yeah, you really will. Okay, girls, we'll do it, and I'll turn it in first thing in the morning. In the meantime, there's a bed upstairs for each of you. What? Really? Yep. Go right ahead. Go up the elevator. Oh, this is going to be the best life ever. Wait, bunk beds? Oh, <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, I want to sleep in this thing. I want to sleep in it. Molly, go to bed. I can't. I'm too excited. Ay, ay, ay. Seriously, Molly, you're going to live here the rest of your life. You could go to sleep. Oh, so much more comfortable than the orphanage bed. <sighs> uh, get out of those beds right now. Wait, what? Karen, what are you doing here? You mean mom? What are you doing at this lady's house? She's not even your mom. She is our mom. We chose her as our mom. You don't get to be my, our mom. Don't be our mom. I am your mom. The paperwork says it. Mom! Mom! Whoa, Molly. I got here as soon as I could. Mom, Karen's in our room. I know. Why didn't you stop her? Because I was busy on the phone with the police. What? What are you talking about? You kidnapped my daughters. Actually, no correction. We came here on our own. These adoption papers are fake. You weren't approved for adoption at all. What? Uh, how'd you find that out? Because I'm smarter than you, Karen. But don't worry, girls. Your adoption papers from me are official. I'm your mom. Now, Karen, get out of my house before the police get here. You better start running. <laughs> Karen's getting arrested. Karen's getting arrested. What? No! I don't want her to be my mom. Don't be my mom. Oh, well, if you don't want me to be. No, 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 I meant Karen. I definitely want you to be my mom. 
Me too. We're a family forever, right, Mom? That's right, girls. Family forever. How to train a puppy. Go. No, no, no. Oh, a Mastiff. That's a huge dog. Holy guacamole. Looks like they're walking a horse. <laughs> Molly, I'm here. Brookie, hey. Hey, Molly. I'm so excited about this special sleepover. So what makes it so special? <laughs> You're about to find out. What are you looking at on your iPad? Oh, nothing. It's all a part of the surprise. Whoa, <laughs> you packed a huge bag. Are you staying for a week or a night? Just a night. My mom says I have to be home in the morning. We're all going for a family breakfast. Whoa, cool. That sounds fun. So come on. I want to know what this amazing sleepover is about. Come on. I'm so excited. Okay, well, here goes. <whistles> uh, Molly, why are you whistling like that? <whistles> here, Oreo. Here, here, Oreo. Who's Oreo? Wait a minute. You're calling to the cookies down in the refrigerator? Molly, you might have a problem. <laughs> no, no, no. Oreo is my adorable puppy. What? You got a puppy? Oh my gosh. He's adorable. Hi. His name's Oreo? Yep, his name is Oreo. <laughs> he hasn't really left my side. Well, except for just now because I was hiding him so I could surprise you. Oh my gosh, I've always wanted a puppy. He's so adorable, Molly. Ugh, it's not fair. How come you got a puppy and I didn't? Wait, what? You, you aren't happy for me? I'm trying to be happy for you, but it's just not fair. I mean, you don't even do your homework. You got a puppy and I always do my homework. I didn't get a puppy. I can't believe you're saying this to me right now, Brookie. I mean... You just seem like really sour grapes. Sour grapes, what does that mean? It means you're jealous. Um, okay, yeah, I admit I'm jealous that you got a puppy and I didn't. I mean, look at my shirt. It's obvious I love dogs. Ruff, 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 ruff. I didn't even know you liked dogs. Aw, well, you can come hang out with Oreo anytime you want. Yeah, I, I guess you're right. Now, come on, let's enjoy the sleepover. No need to be jealous, Brookie. You're my bestie, and and I don't want you to be sad. Come visit Oreo anytime. Well, it's not the same as having my own dog, but yeah, okay. Ruff, 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 ruff. Oh, hi, little guy. Aren't you the sweetest? Yeah, he really is. Come here, Oreo. Come here, Oreo. Ruff, 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 ruff. Oh, Molly, he just seems to want to stay by my side. What? No, he's my dog. He should come over to me. Come here, Oreo. <laughs> Uh, Molly, I'm sorry. He's just like, he's stuck to me like glue. He must really like you or something. Well, I am sort of the dog whisperer. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Come on, let's go watch a movie. Oreo! <laughs> Come on, Oreo. Let's go. Oh my gosh, my dog is attached to Brookie's hip. Seriously. Sorry about that, Molly. I mean, uh, I, I know Oreo's your dog, but he really just seems to like me. Hi! Is the sleepover started yet? Where's Oreo? Uh, he's like totally attached to Brookie Cookie for some reason. Maybe it's because... Whoa! Look at this! A wolf! Yeah, we're not watching that. Boring. And what were you saying? I was saying maybe it's because Brookie Cookie is amazing and our dog just loves um, her. Yeah, that's true. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Oh, Oreo. Wait, where do Oreo go? Uh, he likes to sleep under the couch when we're watching TV. He's kind of crazy like that. Who wants popcorn? Not me. I'm going to have a healthy snack. Not me. I'm going to have a healthy snack. <laughs> My sister's so boring. She eats the most boring snacks. <laughs> I like your song, Molly. I don't like it. Molly, that's rude. Sorry, but it's true. My sister's so boring. She eats the most boring snacks. <laughs> You're so silly, Molly. She's so annoying is more like it. Yep. But only to you, Daisy. Only to you. Oh, sorry, Oreo. Here, I'll toss a few pieces of popcorn under the couch for you. Oh, that's so nice, Brookie. Ugh, that was a long 
movie. And ugh, I'm so full of popcorn and snacks. Molly, you're supposed to totally eat the popcorn slowly so it lasts through the whole movie. Nope, nope, didn't do it. Ugh, so full. Besides, the movie's over, so I guess I sort of accomplished that. No, you didn't, Molly. You ate all of your popcorn in the first 15 minutes. Then you went back for seconds and thirds and fifteenths. Yeah, which explains why my stomach hurts. <laughs> well, I have to go to bed kind of early tonight, Molly, because I'm having breakfast with my family in the morning, remember? Okay, yeah, come on. You can set up your sleeping bag in my room. Oreo! <laughs> come on, boy. Here, boy. Sorry, Oreo is just following me around again. Oreo, you're my dog. Apparently, Oreo's forgotten. Come on, Oreo. Come on, come on. Oh, I think Oreo just wants to sleep on my bed in my sleeping bag. Fine, Oreo. Ugh, I feel like my dog likes you better than me. And I'm the dog's owner. Sorry, Molly, I told you. Dogs just really like me. And cats, and hamsters, and fish. <laughs> I'm sort of an animal whisperer. Fine. I mean, Oreo lives here, so I guess Brookie can sleep with him just one night. Where's Daisy? She's still brushing her teeth. She said she'll be up in a minute. Okay, fine. Well, good night, Oreo! <coughs> Seriously, my dog is already asleep? Ugh! The dog never falls asleep when it sleeps in my bed. It just whines all night long. And look at it all snuggled under the covers with Brookie. Oh, you'd think that dog was her dog. What's going on in there? What are you doing, Daisy? I just want to make sure you two aren't getting into a fight. And I was walking into the middle of it. No, we're not fighting. Then why do you seem so irritated, Molly? Because Oreo just wants to hang out with Brookie. Well, maybe Brookie should own Oreo. What? Don't say that. Rude. Ugh. Sisters are so annoying. <laughs> Molly, Molly. Hey, I've got to leave. Molly, can you hear me? Molly. Molly, I have to leave now. I have to meet my family for breakfast. Molly? <laughs> well, I guess I'll call her later. She's sleeping so peacefully, I won't bug her. Okay, I'll see you later, Oreo. Bye. Ah, that was the best night's sleep I've gotten in a long time. Ah, now I need a big breakfast. Yes! Oreo! Oreo! Whoa, where's Blucky? Well, I, I don't know. I, I guess she went home early. Oh, yeah. Uh, she had breakfast with her family this morning, remember? Oh, yeah. She should have said bye, though. Yeah, she probably didn't want to wake us up. Yeah, true. Oreo! <laughs> Where'd Oreo go? Is he under the bed? No, I don't see him down there. He's probably downstairs waiting for breakfast. You're probably right. <laughs> He's just like me. He wants breakfast first thing in the morning. Oreo, where are you? Oh boy, this is gonna be a deliciously healthy breakfast. A waffle with some banana. Oreo! Ore Oreo! Daisy, Oreo's not coming. That's weird. Oreo, are you in the washing machine? If you are, that's a terrible place to hide. You're gonna get washed with the underwear. Um, Daisy, Oreo is nowhere. Check the bathroom, Molly. Maybe he had to go potty. Oh my gosh, my sister's ridiculous. She actually thinks dogs use the potty. Um, they go potty outside, Daisy. Ew, they do? Gross. <laughs> oh boy, my sister's clueless when it comes to dogs. What do you think Oreo is? I don't know, he's probably around here somewhere. Oreo, Oreo. <whistles> he's probably just sleeping somewhere here or hiding to be funny. But we're out of coffee, so I'm going down to Starbucks for a cup. Do you want anything? No. I'm just starting to get a little worried. Where could Oreo be? Maybe the door got open and he went outside. Ah! That's a horrible thought! Oreo? Oreo? Okay, he's not in the house. And, 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 and he might be in this entire huge town? Oh my gosh. Oreo! 
Oh, Oreo. Ruff, ruff. You're such a cute little dog. What? Plucky Cookie stole Oreo? Oh my gosh, I have to call my sister. Ruff, 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 ruff. I know, Oreo. I'm sort of glad you're at Starbucks with me too. Although I'm sure Molly and Daisy miss you. Hey, Daisy, what is it? Molly, I, I have some news to tell you. What? Is it about Oreo? Did you find him? Yes, Molly, but it's bad news. Oh my god! What happened to Oreo? Molly, um, someone stole him. I, I don't want to tell you who. You better tell me who, Daisy. I need to know so I can call the cops. It was, it was... Spit it out, Daisy! It was Plucky Cookie. W wait, w what? My best friend stole my dog? Molly, I think you better come down to Starbucks right away. I'll be there in a minute. Bye, Molly. Oh, boy. This is not going to be good. Not good at all. O-M-G. My sister was right. Brookie, you stole my dog. What? No, it's it's not like that, Molly. Ruff, 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 ruff. I, I promise. Well, if the shoe fits, wear it, princess. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? I'm saying that you have my dog, and I've been looking for him all morning, and I couldn't find him, and I was scared. And here f to come to find out, my best friend is having a latte with my puppy. I'm I'm sorry, Molly. It, it, it's not my fault. Yeah, you were so jealous I got a dog. You stole it. We can't be best friends anymore. I don't, I don't even care about you anymore. Molly. Why would you say something so mean to me? <laughs> okay, well, that was a bit harsh, but why did you steal my dog? I have to call the cops. Molly, no, don't don't call the cops. Oreo followed me home, and I didn't know it. I, I, I'm just here to meet my family for breakfast. And, and as soon as breakfast was over, I was going to bring Oreo straight back to your house. I told you I was the dog whisperer. What? Oreo snuck out of the house and followed you here? Oreo, is that true? Ruff, ruff, ruff. Oh my gosh, Brookie, I'm sorry I accused you. Oreo, don't you love me? Don't you want to live with me? Oh, that's not it at all, Molly. It's just Oreo heard I was going to Starbrooks, and what dog doesn't want to have a delicious muffin? Oreo, I would have bought you a muffin. Ruff, ruff, ruff. See, as soon as you mentioned that he could have a Starbucks muffin, he's back to being your dog. Oh, you little devil, you. Ruff, ruff. Brookie, are we okay? Sure we are, Molly. But try next time to not accuse me until you know. Okay, I promise. And thanks for watching out for Oreo. No problem, Molly. Have fun with your family. Come on, Oreo. Let's get a muffin. Or a cupcake. Or a donut. Which one do you want? Ruff, ruff, ruff. All three? <laughs> You're definitely my dog. We're going on a play date. Yeah, baby Kira, this is gonna be so much fun. You're gonna love it. I know, I know if I like play dates. Trust me, when I was your age, I loved play dates. Mom, don't try to get in the stroller. I know that you're tired from being up with baby Kira all night, but you can't fit in the stroller. Don't worry, Molly. I'm not gonna try to sit in the stroller. It looks like you did just right now, Mom. Don't lie. Okay, maybe I wanted to sit down for just a second. I want to get on my stroller and put it on. Yeah, when we get over to the playground, you can run around, okay? You're not my mom. I don't have to listen to you. Listen here, little Molly. Don't call your sister a brat or any other names. It's her big day. She's at her play day. Okay, well, have fun, baby Kira. Why did I have to come along? Because if you're going to babysit your little sister this summer on school break, you have to know exactly what these play dates are all about. Uh, looks like baby Kira just runs around and plays. Pretty much, but I always encourage her to, like, find new friends, talk to people, you know, socialize. Okay, well, um, there's no other kids around right now, but... Oh, baby Kira, are you happy on the swing? Ow! And not meant for you, you too fat. What? No, I'm not. Don't say that. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, how come you can't make this swing go? Um, I don't know. It, Cause it's broken or something, I think. I think I'll just sit here and eat a piece of pizza. Aha. Uh -huh. Sure. Oh, my little sister can be so rude. Don't make me give you a timeout. And now I can relax while Molly watches baby Kira. 
Oh, I see what you were doing, Mom. Making me babysit while you relax at the beach. I don't think so. I'm getting in the water. Molly, you have to watch baby Kira or at least help me. Okay, baby Kira, come on. We're swimming. Molly, she can't swim out that far. She'll drown. No, she won't. Look, ooh, whoa. What's down there? It's like a whale. Just a big rock, though. I used to love coming to swim here when I came to baby playgroups. Wait, where's, where's baby Kira? I thought you were watching her. Oh, my God, we lost her. Uh, wait, is she tri Is that Rainbow Friends? And did she just go in that house? Because if she did, oh my gosh. Bum, bum, bum! This can't be good, guys. What'd you do with my sister, crazy? All right, I'm gonna go look for my sister, see if she's in here. Whoa, this is a nice house. Okay, that's not my sister's room. That's not my sister in there. Maybe I just thought that was my sister. Ooh, nice bathroom. Ah! Why are you out here? Probably wants to know why I'm in his house. Okay, fine, I'm leaving your house. I thought my sister came in here. But I guess not. We're on a play day. And okay, anyway. Whoa, I went in the wrong room. I can't get out. I can't figure it out. Oh my gosh, guys. I really don't know how to get out of here. Um, apparently this is where they trap people under the stairs. Baby, how do I get out of your house already? I'm gonna take the back door. Oh, it's locked. Oh my god, guys. I'm locked in here with one of the rainbow friends. This isn't good. Phew, I'm finally out. Molly, did you find baby Kira? Um, well, uh, Molly! You lost her! Okay, come on. We'll find her together. All right. Baby Kira! This isn't good. This isn't good at all. Baby Kira, where are you? B baby Kira? Sorry I lost you. Baby Kira! Get down from that fountain! Oh, boy, Molly. I can see you're going to have your hands full this summer. Baby Kira, um, you do not run out of our sight, okay? I want to go wild park. Wait, what? They put in a water park here? They sure did, Molly. It's been a long time since you've been a baby. Yeah, want to go to the water park? Let's go. Holy guacamole. Look at that water park. It looks amazing. Hmm, it looks like it's starting to get dark. We might have to go home soon. Not before we go to the water park, Mom. And they put in a cinema here, too? And Scooby-Doo is playing? Oh, my gosh. So much better than when it was just, like, boring swings and a slide when I was a baby. <laughs> Come on, baby Kira. Last one to the top. So rotten egg. Uh, Molly, wait for your little sister, please. She's just a baby. Come on, baby Kara. I'm coming. I come and I just have a very short day, so it takes me a long time. I know it takes you a long time because you're still really tiny and short. Whoa, look at all these. Now, since you've never... Ooh. Baby Kara, what are you doing? Baby Kara? Baby Kara, are you okay? Oh my god, I think she just fell into the water. I'm coming, baby Kara. Ow, oh, that was not very deep. Ouch. Ba baby Kara? All right, I, I lost my sister. Again, I think it's safe to say that I'm not going to get the job this summer. <laughs> oh, well, I just wanted to eat ice cream and hang out and play Roblox anyway. Oh, my gosh, guys. Where is my little sister? Oh, wait, there she is. Baby Kira, you cannot go through the railing. Oops, yeah, I didn't mean to. Um, now we have to go back this way. Go in Wild Park and try again. Yeah, this time, don't go through the railing. Just go up the stairs, and then we'll take a raft together, okay? Molly, is everything Okay. Oh, man. Better not tell my mom I lost her again. Everything's fine. Molly, you lost your sister again, didn't you? Um, Molly? Sorry. Okay, baby, Kara, come on now. Molly, I'll give you a time out if you don't tell me the truth from now on. I know. We can't lie, Mom. Got it. Do, 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 do. Okay, baby, Kara, I'm going to launch the raft. Baby, Kara, are you ready? I got me. I swallow when you. Here we go. Here comes the raft. Get on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Oh, my gosh. Now I'm not on. Okay, there we go. Ha, ha, ha. Baby Kara, this is going to be the most fun play day ever, even though you didn't really play with any other kids. Just your sister. Wee! This is fun. Ah, it's crazy. I love it. Yeah, it is really fun, huh? Okay, here we go. Whoa. <laughs> I go crazy. Oh, oh, oh. Ouch. Ah, what happened? What happened is we flipped upside down, and now I'm off the raft. Ugh. Oh, wow, Molly, how did it go? Um, well, um, our raft sank, and I can't find baby Kira. Molly, this is the third time you couldn't find her. She is coming. Oh, wait, now I'm going backwards, and I can't stop going backwards. All right, here we go. Oh, it's probably not a good thing that the water park's raft sink. I love it, but I have a go poo-poo. Uh, Mom, you're all about the dirty diapers. I'm just chilling. Oh, uh, okay, Molly. 
I guess we should get going home. But what did you think of your play date? I'm playing with Fang Boy. Yeah. <laughs> but you got to go down a water slide. That was pretty fun. Yeah, and disappear three times. Come on, let's go um, potty and change your diaper. And we'll eat some pizza. Okay, baby Kira's changed. Mom, it's not that late. Can we please go see the new Scooby-Doo movie? I'll go see Minions. No, Minions not out yet. See, it says coming soon. Um, yeah, sure. I guess we could watch Scooby-Doo and eat some pizza. Yes! Come on, let's get tickets. Oops, I almost forgot the tickets. <laughs> How many? Um, me, my baby sister, and my mom. Three tickets, okay? Here you go. Enjoy. Thank you. Whoa, I got the hiccups. I didn't even eat the pizza yet, and I got the hiccups. Holy guacamole, man. I got pizza, and I'm going to watch a movie, and it's been the best play date ever with you, Molly. Oh, baby Kira, that's so sweet. Mm. Theater pizza is always the best. You're saying that to me, and I've been eating it for a really long time. So I've been around a lot longer than you guys have. Yeah, well, I guess I don't need to tell you, huh, Mom? Not really. Ooh, his epic tail begins, get it? <laughs> Ma, quiet, the, the movie about the star. Okay, okay, I'll be quiet. Ah, this was actually a pretty fun play date, even though it was for a baby. <laughs> I get to eat pizza and watch a movie? Sign me up! Baby Kira, aren't you excited? It's your first day of daycare. Whoa, whoa, I kind of went up on the curb. Oopsie. Ugh, driving your dad's car is so difficult. I wish my car wasn't in the shop. Oh well, I eventually got it. <laughs> Baby Kira, are you coming? I'll buy and go to prequel. Why not? You're going to make so many friends, honey. And your teacher, Jenna, I met her last week. She's so nice. I'm going to go, not going. Baby Kira, please get out of the car right now. I'm not going. Baby Kira, we talked about this. Come on. Your teacher is so nice. You're going to have so much fun. I want to stay home all day and play with my toys. I don't know, but I don't know what you did with me. You did with me. All right, we're going to try not to talk baby talk because you're a big girl now. I'm not big girl. I do girl. I stay home. Come on, let's go in and just talk to the teacher. You can see me a hiding. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Mrs. Acker. Oh, who do you have behind you there? This is my daughter, Kira. She's being a little shy today since it's her first day of preschool. Oh, hi, I'm Jenna. Nice to meet you. You can't see me. I'm invisible. Oh, I don't think you're invisible because I can see you, sweetie. Look, you're going to have so much fun with the other kids. You're the first one here, though, so uh, maybe we could get to know each other. All right, baby Kira, I have to get to work. I'll see you later. Don't leave me here, Mama. Don't leave me here, Mama. It's going to be okay, baby Kira. Do you want a fuzzy stuffed animal to hug? No, I want to go home, play with my toys, and, and, and hug my stuffed elephant. Oh, you have a stuffed elephant at home? Well, here at preschool, we have a stuffed hippo. And he absolutely loves snuggles. Here, I'm going to give them to you, okay? I don't think this is going to work. Well, I'm sure it will, sweetie. Okay, I'm going to go check you in. And the other students should be arriving soon. Good morning, Miss Jenna. Good morning, Susie. It's so good to see you. It's great to see you, too. Hey, guess what? There's a new student here named Kira. Would, would you make her your friend, Susie? Of course I will. I love making everyone my friend. Great. She's right over here. Baby Kira, this is one of our other students, Susie. You guys, I think, will be great friends. I won't be anyone's friend. Oh, Baby Kira, that's not a very nice attitude to have on your first day of preschool. I don't need friends. I need my mommy. I need my mommy! Oh, sweet girl. Everything's going to be okay. Oh, look, Stephen's here. Good morning, Stephen. Hi. Whoa, you had a growth spurt over the weekend, I see. Well, we have a new student, baby Kira. Come meet her, Stephen. Hi, I'm Stephen. I don't care. I want to go home. Wow, I think we need to have a better nice attitude, okay, baby Kira? I don't want to have to call your mommy. Yeah, call my mommy. This is total... What did you just say? She said a bad word. 
Whoa, teacher! Baby Cuba said bad word. <laughs> okay, Steven, not funny. Baby Kira, we do not say that word. I'm sorry you're sad you're at preschool, but this is where your mom says you need to you need to be. I want to. This is total. <laughs> All right, everyone, just play with the toys. I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, I've never had a student say that word before. Um, I think I should call her mom. Hi, this is Mrs. Acker. How can I help you? Hi, um, this is Jenna from the preschool and... Oh no, what happened? Is baby Kira all right? Um, yes, but um, well, we're a little shaken up right now because baby Kira said a naughty word. What? She's never said a naughty word in her entire life. Well, she did. What word did she say, Jenna? She said... What? Are you serious? I, I can't believe this. Well, she did. I don't know what you want to do about it, but um, I'll be right there. I need to see baby Kira for myself. Yeah, it'd probably be better if you pick her up. Maybe she's just not ready for preschool yet. I want go home. I want go home. You know what, baby Kira? I don't know if you're really ready for preschool yet, but your mommy is coming. Really? I could go home, play with my toys, and be with my mommy. But here's something for you to think about, baby Kira. Every child, well, they have sometimes a difficult transition starting school. It's okay to be afraid or to even miss your mommy or daddy. But eventually you're going to make friends here and have so much fun. I want to have fun. Hello, is anyone here? Oh yeah, we're back here in the play center. Hi, Mrs. Acker. I'm sorry to have to call you during the work day. Mama! 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 I'm just so shocked that she said such a naughty word. Not my daughter. I'm sorry, but I just don't think this is even possible. You must have misheard her. Well, Mrs. Acker, she said it twice. I'm pretty sure I didn't mishear her. Well, maybe you did. I mean, have you had your annual hearing screening? Yes, I had my annual physical with my hearing tested. Okay, I'm just saying, maybe you have some wax in your ears because my daughter doesn't say naughty words. Um, okay, well, um, uh, do you want to bring her back tomorrow or do you think maybe she needs to be home for a little longer and she's not ready to start pre-K? She's ready and we'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> this was all just a big misunderstanding. Okay, well, baby Kira, I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully with less of a potty mouth. Okay, Susie, Steven, let's um, gather up. We're going to get our snacks going. Oh, hey, Brookie, what's up? Hey, Molly, I was just wondering, are you excited about your half day? Yeah, you should come over and hang out. It'd be super fun. Sorry, I can't. I've got a ton of chores to do. Ugh, that sounds like the pits. Totally does. Now, baby Kira, I expect you to tell me the truth. Did you say a naughty word? Um, Brookie, there is some sort of drama going on here. Um, I'll call you back later, okay? Okay, Molly, bye. Bye. What? Baby Kira said a naughty word? Uh, no, I didn't say it. I said stinky potatoes. <laughs> yeah, right. That's the oldest line in the book. She didn't say stinky potatoes. Um, well, I, I, uh, well, you can try preschool again tomorrow. Maybe we'll have better luck. Molly, what are you guys doing? Uh, we're watching some TV since we're home early from school. Early dismissal is the best day ever. I had the worst day ever. I was total. Holy guacamole! Where did you hear that? I uh, hear what? That super naughty word. You can't say that. That's a that's that, 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 that's a very naughty word. Ah! Oh my gosh! Girls, what's going on? Um, baby Kira said a naughty word. Really? What naughty word? I better whisper it in your ear, Mom. That's what I thought she said, baby Kira. I can't believe this. Jenna was right. She didn't have wax in her ears. That is very naughty. You are not supposed to say that. Oh, why even um, go back to you tomorrow? Well, you're not only going back to pre-K, but you're also going to have your time out for the first time. Whoa. Your first time out. This is a big deal, baby Kira. I want to. <laughs> you know the 
timeout chair. You've seen your sister Molly in it plenty of times. Go sit in it. Oh, me? No, I haven't been in the timeout chair that many times. Yeah, right, Molly. <laughs> oh, you spend more time in the timeout chair than you do anywhere else. Can't believe my foot timeout! <laughs> Don't worry, baby Kira. The timeouts get easier as they go on. You sort of entertain yourself by thinking things in your mind, like, what kind of snack do I want when I get out of timeout? Molly, no talking to the prisoner. Sorry, baby Kira. You're in this alone. <laughs> Poor kid. I remember my first time out. It was not fun.